No, oh, no, no. That. I use that uh, in my regular videos a lot. Oh. Yeah. Dude, I, well, High actually, energy yeah, episode, dude, obviously. Dude. <laughs> Boobs yawning. Is this a patron exclusive? <laughs> It can, yeah, can be. We, we have what we have to do no, two in one week, no, so we can flip flop them either way. We need to make this public. Uh, <laughs> I might pop it a little bit of a okay. Celsius in a couple minutes. Yeah, I've already had two today, which is more than you're supposed to for your heart. But I could pop What's a it Celsius. Third. It's an energy drink. Oh, uh, okay. I would just. Um, Ooh, this is so far. This, this is, is popping. This is a podcast. This is episode eighty-six. I'll put in, <laughs> still put in the noise. Can we at least get it right one time? I don't know I, what it is. I, I, I have no idea. Is. I'm logged out of the Patreon. Someone it, keeps trying to break in. <laughs> I'm scared Please of it. If I just ignore it, I don't, if I, if I don't look at it, it's, it goes away. <laughs> Every time I talk to you guys, there's a new person trying to break into the Patreon. Uh, what the hell? Because that's juicy, password? low-hanging fruit, dude. I'm not no, telling you my no, goddamn no, password. Don't fucking don't matter, say that apparently. on the podcast. <laughs> I can't find. Your house is unlocked. I cannot find for the life of me how you change the password. On oh, the Jesus Christ! Like, if God. you guys want to walk me through it, you know, I'll I'll take I'll take any instruction. But okay. I can't uh, I can't find my way around that goddamn website. It's horrible. It's the worst website ever. Oh my Install God! The degenerate. The you know, he's always talking about OnlyFans. How nice OnlyFans is in comparison. And so, for you know, as a detective, I went to go look. Their, their app and everything Way is leaps website. and bounds better huh. than Patreon. We should be on we there. Should OnlyFans, yeah. yeah. Should, can you upload? Well, I guess you probably could upload long format videos because some people are like banging longer than <laughs> yeah. I do. You know? Yeah, you can is upload more, more than like a second. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 90 seconds with foreplay yeah yeah what, what's yeah what's it's what's a 90 second, 90 second long video and it starts seconds. with you knocking on the door to the yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, it's no me cuts. boo he sees There's a nipple no sticking out of her video. shirt and he just comes he's like oh fuck yeah. i'm done yeah i'm drained <laughs> Took 15 seconds to mention jerking off and born. Dude, the last um, one was absolutely vile. We need to yeah. we need to was clean it? this rain up. Yeah, we okay. need to rein it in. This is not a locker room, guys. This is like a imagine a locker room that the other side was connected to the World Wide Web, and everybody Ugh. gets to hear what you say. Yeah, let's, just locker let's, room. Uh, talk, yeah. Um, let's keep everything PG. It's something that you would say in church. Uh, Hogwarts came out. That's a game. <laughs> Oh, what, what are you that? talking about? Relevant news? That's like old news now. It's like two weeks out. Yeah, Atomic we didn't do Heart, a podcast. That's, the, that's not yeah, out we yet, did do a, We did do a podcast since that's been out. Our last one. No. What did we I'm, say about it? What did we, we say? Didn't say shit we didn't about say it. shit about it, dude. All right. We're, talk. That We're grown ass tired. men. Yeah. That's true. Well, we don't. Right. We don't care about. And did you guys hear about Ohio? More <laughs> yeah. Did you guys hear about that wacky little state? A shitty yeah. state got shittier. Who would have thought? Yeah, there's yeah, actually, I actually, bre actually breaking news Ohio. in mm -hmm. Ohio. They had that train car derailment, but then I just saw on Reddit, uh, like a Texas one happened, right? No, a steel plant oh. blew up in Ohio. In Ohio, well. uh, less really? than seventy yeah. miles away from where the train car is derailed. I think it's a terrorist Jesus attack. I think, I think this is all orchestrated. Yeah, you think? I think a terrorist cell is targeting <laughs> Ohio. Oh, my uh, water the water's heart been tasting of America. weird. Yeah. My teeth keep getting loose, and I don't know if that's connected to all that in the Ohio River, my water supply, or what. But, um, yeah, that would be an insane a, a, side effect if you're every, growing like a thirty third tooth or something. Fell out. A I would immediately teeth that are awesome come yeah. in. Oh my god, new radioactive teeth come in. Yeah, they're More green, bad yeah. <laughs> green and shiny. <laughs> they look like those glow in the dark vampire teeth. Yeah. <laughs> They're made of plastic. Uh, yeah. They're made of plastic. <laughs> Speaking um, of teeth, uh, Pooh, how about your, uh, how's your teeth? How's no, your good. hygiene? Good. Oh, you don't want to talk about your, okay, all right. No. Okay. Yeah, my teeth talking... hurt. Uh, so we probably, how much time do you think we can get out of this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk uh, this my out. teeth have been hurting for a day uh, oh, because right. I've not been going to the dentist for a long time and. <laughs> Um, that's the dangers of streamer get, life, dude. You're not, yeah, yeah, yeah you just sit you there. Teeth rot, I'm on my grind all the time. Well, believe it or not, drinking six Celsius is never brushing your teeth, yeah, yeah. sitting yeah. in a chair, eating I brush Chex my Mix teeth Bold all the Party time. Mix. That's the sponsor of this episode. Bold, yeah, that's an official specifically sponsor. Go ahead bold and email party Chex mix. mix has to yeah. be bold. 
If you buy any of the other ones, especially the sweet ones, we don't get a mention. Uh, mention like Forehead Fables. Ones. Next time you buy a Chex Mix party bag, we're paid to like the bold 10% ones. Off. We're not I paid like to the like the sweet, sweet ones. ones. Well, I like Muddy Buddy. What the fuck is Muddy Buddy? Okay, Muddy Buddies are awesome, but until Muddy Buddy is well, in Chex. <laughs> Right. And by and by checks, I don't mean checks mix. I'm both oh. party mix to sponsor this episode. I'm talking about checks as in like a written pay stub to your house. I wouldn't I wouldn't mention them. I would just mention checks mix thought, old party. I thought mix. it was a snack. It's like little shirts for babies. What the fuck is this? Uh, you're certainly on the wrong way. Yeah, muddy the, buddy, muddy buddy. I nah, you're on the, Did you look up Chex Mix, muddy buddy, or just oh, the word I muddy buddy? Yeah. Muddy buddy. It you're in little, dangerous like porn territory if you yeah. just look up little, little buddy no, covered in mud. Like, little it's muddy like buddy. Little, it's little suits you give to babies because they're you're fucking in pieces of shit and they get messy. Dangerous, not know how to Google things territory. <laughs> yeah. you know, Chex, put the whole I, goddamn. Look at this trifecta though. This oh, is what these are flavored like. Just looking up bold if you wanted to find this flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce, onions, and garlic. Is there a worse uh, combo your for your mouth. bread? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> yeah. Stolt, edit in some smells for the audience. <sighs> right there. <laughs> I'm sure um, what are those little pretzels? Those little onion ones, goddamn. Honey mustard, onion, whatever. The, you know, yeah, what Schneider's about. makes like yeah, the those honey make mustard. Your mouth. Oh, oh, those are freak. They're, they're worth it, though. They're those worth are somehow really worse, good. though, <laughs> than, than the bold party mix. Not for worse, breath? yeah, just for they breath. Have more flavor, so they smell worse. Yeah, they're bursting. I wouldn't with say flavor. they have more flavor. I would say Chex I'd say mix they're bold even party mix more has... bold. <laughs> yeah, bolder. This guy doesn't. He doesn't want to be able to pay off his taxes. This year. I don't like yeah. the <laughs> smell of those ones, and I don't want them to sponsor me. Um, what's your I ideal want, sponsor want... if we could get one? Pampers. Been saying that for years. Just diapers that I could wear while Huggies, streaming. Nevers, so depends. I could just not have to take so many pee breaks. Yeah. I could just piss in my diaper. I always thought but, it would be it would be cool to get just like a like a pillar of the U.S. economy type. Oh, you talked like about that, yeah. Like, oh, you like mean a, a like a U.S. Really, steel like money yeah. making one? Yeah, like or oh, yeah. like milk farmers of America or something like one of those big <laughs> union ones. Yeah, Teamsters that'd be cool. union or some shit. Get the word out for them. Yeah. I Coca-Cola. don't think I would take like a, a railway sponsor. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah, all of a no, sudden those no. have been popping up in the news, even though it seems like they there's just like the on average amount of derailments this year. But they're just hot news for Look some reason. Look at him. He's already, sh- he's already are showing. You saying, are you serious? For <laughs> some reason? I'm maybe the I don't get why. Massive. Yeah. Massive environmental problems. Oh, no, no, no. There's the one that was huge. But then after that, there's like, look at like this one car came off a rail oh. and it like gets like 60,000 upvotes on Reddit. They're like, oh my God, what is going on in Nebraska? A car went off the rail. Yeah. And now they're like highlighting money every in, little one. We put more money in infrastructure. Well, that, that would happens, actually though. be tight. I'm so tired of going to national parks <laughs> and the roads are pothole ridden. And there's I can't drive to my downtown <laughs> without the potholes being as big as fucking cars. It's it makes the news here, yeah. like where it's like holy uh, shit, sixteen foot wide pothole. Like how does that get to that point? It's because you live in like San Andreas, fucking no, Baller dude, Street or some goddamn, shit. Dude, it's some fucking infrastructure in the in the. <laughs> this guy's bragging about his roads are yeah. sixteen feet wide. <laughs> still would find some to complain the about. Sidewalk, yeah. These goddamn potholes. They take someone's yard. I had a goddamn Uber driver who it's like, it felt like my fault because he drove to my house and he had a pothole <laughs> while it was raining that he couldn't see how big it was. And it's Mercedes where he just he like, boom, boom. And he, and he like rivers. looked back at me and I'm like, damn, dude. dude like, that's just told me. <laughs> no, I'm like, that's new. Uh, like that literally just, he was picking me up from the airport. I'm like, that wasn't there when I left. <laughs> And the guy, I'm like, is this guy going to fucking kill me because <laughs> he, his, he just star. fucked up his car? <laughs> That's not on me, dude. Like, don't drive in puddles. Like, what the hell? There could be a kid in there. It's uh, like, we well, don't drive through leaf piles. <laughs> dude, you guys ever do that? Drive through leaf piles in people's yards and shit? <laughs> <laughs> in the fall? Oh, you guys don't have fall, do you? No, we don't. We it, it, goes from, go it goes from, like, summer to just, like, uh, you might have a little, a little, uh, little hoodie on. Oh, you like what, what's the temperature like outside right now for you? I don't know, twenty no, minus it's like, one Celsius. It's like, what's that in Fahrenheit? It's seventy degrees Jesus. outside right now. It's like t-shirt it's, weather. 
It's, Fuck you. It's like 45. It's not bad. But it it's, bounces okay, it's around. It's going to go Thursday, 67 high. Guess And then Friday, 37 high. I'm so wow. sick of this time of year. When the weather bounces around, around. just like make up your mind. It's, Am I right? <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like a woman. <laughs> so many mood swings. Like that's why she's Mother Earth because yeah. uh, she's so unpredictable, and she gets periods and shoots yeah. train shit all over the sky <laughs> yeah. or whatever she did. Fuck her. Uh, yeah, bitch. She totally <laughs> fucked up the sky, and all my water tastes funny. It's got oil in it and stuff. Probably yeah. <laughs> vinyl chloride or whatever. Um, well, why were they doing like five or six truckloads of that shit? That seems like. <laughs> Such a dangerous want... amount of like one thing to bring, you know. Saves money, and Truck they probably loads. do that shit all the time. Like, yeah, like, yeah. That's why true. don't they split it up a little teacup amount per? <laughs> yeah, per no, train. just like I feel like like one truckload of that per train. Like I, I feel like they that, should have put it in a big plane that way. Because then they would need five blew fucking up trains. And be already way up there. It go into space. I guess I, I feel like there should be kind of a limit on how many. <laughs> How much of one hazardous material you can yeah, carry no, in your giant nice. basket? Well, I yeah, I it'd, be, it'd be cool. Yeah, if you were yeah. flying a plane, because I that bet was you your cargo. If it, if it wasn't like this polyethylene or whatever, if it was like five train cars oh, of is. nitroglycerine, you yeah. would probably be asking, why did they let five train loads of nitroglycerine <laughs> leave that the would fucking? Be badass, though, if it exploded, that'd be uh, fucking that would nuts, be, dude. It would explode before it even hit anything. I think like jostling or whatever like makes it blow up, right? <laughs> I totally cut you off there fucking... earlier. No, that's, I that's why they had to burn it anyways, because the like fear of an explosion with this shit they had. Um, <clears throat> my thing was stupid anyway. Fear of explosion, whatever. So they lit it I'm on sorry. fire. Is that? It's just good. They were like, we don't want it to getting back to a one time yeah, thing. So set it on fire. That will stop it from exploding. We'll burn the too, explosion out It's of too it. busy being on fire. I'm so not a goddamn it. scientist, okay? I'm just saying what I'm, I'm regurgitating what I heard. I there's think got, the you know, cops you, there were reason just... There's a reason they burned it a little, you know, they did it. I think the cops burn were overwhelmed. It. They didn't know what to do. And one guy was like... Fuck it, I don't think it. a cop burned it. I think he fucking like in a hazmat suit and then flicked he, his cigarette into he it threw and a walked movie away into it. Yeah, he yeah. must have been like, like movie military scientists burning it with like big suits, like Evolution or something. He probably had hazmat suits on and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It probably, Honestly, or maybe I think it about a it, cop. I don't know. I feel like what it would be easier just to burn it. Then what? Then like, then, like, then, like, like just letting it sit there, chill scooping out, scooping up the soil. I guess I don't know. Doing whatever they did to Chernobyl, where they sat there and like raked like the first four <laughs> inches of dirt off the ground in every direction for miles. Like yeah, um, hell yeah, I'd rather just burn that shit and tell the people yeah. of that city, hey, uh, don't look up and have your eyes open, or you might yeah. get fucking blind when it rains. Because <laughs> they. Why did they burn it exactly? Because like, goddamn, because burning it made, burning it, made it worse, one right? Of the three of us because could Google the, it and we have told an you, dude, answer. The cop was smoking a cigarette and a he big flicked, fat doobster. Yeah, yeah, and he not, flicked and it like an anime. Did the Ohio <laughs> train burn? It was because, because of, of yeah, a like doobie. I said, it was the like risk of explosions. They did a control intentionally burn the chemicals. Was it the right move? Oh, they, wait, Palestine. I think it was like the best choice for a bunch of really shitty options. What are the other two options? Explosion, or uh, I don't know, probably just, just see what like happens. Just like leaving it there, like just like yeah, well, yeah. leaching like else into the this. groundwater, <laughs> dumbass. Like they should. By the way, did anybody else see the? It's in the. It's in the. It's in the, it's in the water. It's in the water. It's huh. Did anybody else like loose. read the headline of that and just get? I was like, damn, dude, those Palestinians can't catch a fucking break. I, dude, and then yeah, I was like, I was oh, like, in Ohio. I, okay. It was so good. They said I've old Palestine. I was like, what the hell does that mean? Yeah. East. Yeah. East Palestine. East. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've just heard of that from being from around here anyway. Oh, I've Thank never God heard it's of it. That. Well, half I mean, yeah, you Ohio, live right next to side. it, right? No, yeah. it's on the other side of Ohio. Well, I mean, you live like, like state east side. Has, yeah. has weather been shifting eastward towards you from. East Palestine. Yeah, I've been getting giant um, like fart clouds that kill like people I and said, stuff. Like I said, the water's turning my teeth loose, <laughs> and there are <laughs> birds dive bombing and <laughs> killing themselves. Uh. And my dog has been so sleepy for a while, but <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I don't know. I don't, I've been gone outside since it happened, just out of precaution. I've been drinking only Celsius's and other safe drinks. Yeah, Smart. Celsius keeps you immune to yeah. a lot of chemicals and stuff. Um, yeah, it's got electrolytes. Oh. Yeah. You want me to say it? You want now? You want me to say the cool. line? <laughs> um, yeah, say the line that the doctor says. <laughs> it's a plant's grave. Yeah, movie reference time. Oh, uh, what's your favorite movie of the week? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we're already right. there. We got to sixteen minutes. We got to sixteen. Movie um, of the week, Sammy. Is all right, I'll right, admit right. it. We fucked around. All right, this month is too short. Okay, yeah, you expect is. us to turn it out is. the same amount of work in this in this short amount it of time? Is. It's too short. It's too it short. Like, You're working us like like, like dogs. All yeah, right, we spread. can't handle it. This is hard. I don't like it's, this. It's hard. Okay, the job is hard. Yeah. You don't I get it. I you don't get what it's like. None of you do this. <laughs> <laughs> I would trade positions with your dirtiest worker in a heartbeat. Okay? Yeah. With your I'd rather America's be down in the goddamn jobs. coal mines I'd, or something. I'd rather, I'd rather be burning chemicals out of a fucking train than yeah. having to try to think to talk for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> after after talking after on three your stream hour, for yeah. three hours. For like, oh, it was only three hours. It seemed like an eternity. I'm sorry. My kids have been goddamn no, tyrants. It was, yeah, well, didn't, you, uh, didn't you go hiking forever. with your kid? No, I went, I went fucking camping with my kid, all right? And I don't want to be that guy that always tells stories about was his it kid. In the backyard? Was let it me in the backyard? Tell you, no, it wasn't. It was It was over at uh, Lake Tauquin. So I was at Lake Tauquin. <laughs> was it, like, it was a real what, camping experience. What, yeah, it was lot. real. The, it was you guys real go camping. there a lot? <laughs> yeah, we go there all the time. Okay. And, uh, no, like my kid was playing <laughs> awesome. with, my, with my dear nephew that wouldn't ever have like you you have a deer nephew yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and this kid is, is it doesn't have like a, an aggressive bone in his body or anything and like they were like playing sounds on this like hammock sounds like a beat his ass. and my brother like, they were just sitting there chatting to each other my brother's like do you hear what your kid's saying over there and i mm. listen in and my daughter who's four by the way is just sitting there going like, and then we're going to peel off all your skin <laughs> and we're going to eat it. <laughs> and oh, my nephew shit. is just sitting there. He's like three. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? Bro. Uh, yeah. She's been watching a lot of Courage the Cowardly Dog, but I don't think oh, there's yeah, any go, peeling yeah, of yeah, skin and eating it. There probably is. There and, probably is, dude. I don't know. We, we had to tell her to stop watching because they say stupid so much in that. And, oh, my you, you're not going to let your kid say stupid at four? You. No, because she would just be like, she would, she, would just, she would just say all the time, she's like, that's stupid. You're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, probably from you. That's yeah. and she would, and, no, because it's that's useless. He's always Abby. looking at that damn dog, and he's going like, stupid dog. You made me look bad. And he does a little mass and everything. You're raising a snowflake. Yeah. 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 That is, My daddy let me fine. say every slur in the world <laughs> when I was yeah. four. I look was, at me. I turned out perfect. Dude. <laughs> Uh, I was saying the F four at three, man. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, well, anyway, so Abby, then I, I heard her. I heard right? her saying basically similar demonic, like Ramsey Bolton type shit. Uh, yeah. In, while driving trip. around this little yeah. car by herself, she thought she she thought I couldn't hear over the roar of the electric engine. Uh, but oh, believe shit. it or not, it's whisper quiet, and she was just over there going like, "I will peel all your skin off, and Dude, creepy, <laughs> and they could push all your meat into a box." <laughs> and I'm like, "What the hell is going on?" Holy yeah. shit, that kid's going fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna have like some sort of Dahmer on my hands. So you I guys go ahead and crazy. subscribe to the yeah. Patreon Gone. because I'm gonna need. A lot, a lot of money, money to take care of. Yeah. Good lawyers. A lot of therapy. Yeah. Lawyers are important. When she starts Make acting sure she out. With it. And hush yeah. money for the families yeah. of the victims. Reconstructive surgery for her Gwen's so that she can off. reassimilate yeah. into society. <laughs> uh, it, there, Make there's her look a, just like you. A Game Boy to keep <laughs> yeah. her distracted. It, it, you're just evil because you look like your bitch mom. You know, I'll make yeah. you look like that. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be a good one just like me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Are there but, any other options? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you could kill me. Dad, you oh could literally God. shoot me in the face. You don't have oh to make me God. look like you. <laughs> yeah, you could <laughs> blow my head anyone? off. <laughs> no, mommy or daddy. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. You have to pick. You will look exactly yeah. like one of us. You can't die. You can't do yeah. anything. You have You're going to live forever. <laughs> yeah. oh, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. We but, joke. But yeah, like we joke, joke we joke, we joke. Yeah. So we, I've just given up on the first one. I'll just rely on the second one. I'm just the a little bit concerned the because. The little one, right? <laughs> yeah. She, they're both creepy. They're a little kids, uh, let's they're be both honest. Creepy. What did the other one do? Red rum, red rum. <laughs> yeah, you got a bunch of psycho kids. Dude, okay, you know that, like, have you guys ever seen the 2004 remake of uh, uh, The Walking Dead or whatever? Was that? What, the Walking well, Dead? What's the name of that? No, not The Walking Dead. What's Dawn the of the that? Dead? Dawn of the Dead. There you go. They yeah. always have some stupid fucking dead related pun name. But yeah. uh, Dawn of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. No. Shaun of the Dead. Was it Dawn of the yeah. Dead? <laughs> Yeah, it yeah. Is Dawn okay, of the Dawn Dead. Dead. Yeah. You guys keep yeah. throwing fucking names at me. Anyways. Shaun of the Dead. That really no, no, not Shaun of the Dead. And then that. it's almost like <laughs> Evil Dead. And I was like, which oh, one? No one said that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Dawn okay. of the Dead, two thousand four. Who? In the very intro scene, it's a, a like a couple like laying down in bed at night, and then all of a sudden they like. The, the bedroom door opens up a little bit and there's a silhouette of a little girl there. She's like seven. That's scary. And uh, yeah, and the, like the dad gets up and looks at her and he's like, are you okay, Haley or whatever? Kids. And she's a zombie already. <laughs> she's like, she got infected somehow. Um, and she attacks and kills the dad or whatever. But uh, Ooh, like crazy. I saw that movie a lot as a kid and it kind of like fucked me up a little bit because I had never thought of kids being creepy and then the shining i saw that and you know the mm. girls at the end of the hallway Double down on it mm. and uh but i didn't think those were like super creepy at the time but now that i have <laughs> kids and it's like all of a sudden i'll realize i feel like i'm being watched and i'll look over at the fucking bedroom door and, there. and there's just a silhouette of like a fucking three-year-old <laughs> standing there in their nightgown and they're out of it they're sleepwalking or some shit at the time they both sleepwalk yeah, they, they, these are Abby's oh kids, dude. All three of them wander around the yeah. house and they, do, oh. they get up to hijinks in the middle of the goddamn night. At the, half the time, kids. you heard me. I'll be playing games. I'm like, I'll be right back. It's because they're bumping into you walls and shit up your house. Dude, yeah, so like, you know you need to take down the booby traps that you have in yeah. your house. All the fucking <laughs> Home Alone shit, dude. That is not I, safe. I need to get those put, weighted like, pillows they give that uh, that autistic kid from Malcolm in the Middle. What? Yeah, he, Which, the, Malcolm goes to sleep over the the kid that's in the wheelchair that like breathes heavy to save him. Give, yeah, they give him a weighted pillow. They, it's like a weighted blanket, it and it like mouth? suctions oh, okay. him down oh, into the yeah, bed. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, a pull. Yeah, I need to I need to get one of those. And keep the yeah, kids in there. You should vacuum seal them into get there. Get like a bed. twenty pound one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could just yeah put a blanket across them and then put dumbbells on either end of it <laughs> yeah. on the ground and then strap them to the fucking yeah i would i hate it if my blanket's too tight at all i kick a lot in my sleep that's know, my like, nightmare dude a scream, weighted blanket yeah. that heavy i got a weighted blanket in. and it turns like out it. they're just like um they're like heavy blankets yeah it's just a moving blanket and it's like it's yeah it makes you claustrophobic you're like the fuck off like me that. like it's it's like a guy laying on you yeah yeah. Well, it's like being tucked in. Well, it yes. could be like a lady laying on you. No, I don't. I don't think of it that way. Subconsciously, I immediately put, I close my eyes. a guy on me. Big uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I'm small. I'm just a small boy. Mm. I close my eyes. <laughs> small boy. That's yeah. my uncle. I can smell his breath already. I'm, his I'm alcoholic back. breath. Savannah, Georgia, 1995. <laughs> his pinky. He put his pinky. It smells yeah. like poo. I right was out on the veranda nose. taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle visited me. I only have one yeah. uncle and he's dead and like he's very well regarded within the family and I will not oh. sully his name. He <laughs> basically just did yeah. implied. <laughs> no, yeah, no, my uncle's a great guy. It's all right. If anyone couldn't tell right now by his beet red face, Sam is fucking wasted <laughs> as fuck right now. No, I'm not. I I uh, had a couple I was, of mojitos. I was having a creepy little thing the other night where <sighs> I always sleep through the night normally, you know brag Bless. i always like i always just wake up and it's you know like fucking 10 hours later get busy in here and, and yeah, i know uh, you'd be fucking jealous as fuck and the other day <laughs> like twice in a row i guess they're probably like an hour apart but i i woke up which like already i'm like what is happening like well, it's dark <laughs> and if it's not like someone's like knocking on the outside of my house like on the other side of my wall but I was just so tired. I'm like, is this real? And by the time I like sit up and stop, and I'm like, I don't 
think it was real. And then it happened again like an hour later, like on the other wall. But I'm like, I can't tell if it's like sleep paralysis noises. But also, why was I waking up? Maybe and you're then schizophrenic. I, I don't yeah, know. maybe. It could be. Does schizophrenia a strike when you're asleep, I wonder? Anyone schizophrenic day, right? in uh, chat? Yeah, does it happen like you wake up <laughs> and people are like, bah, bah! <laughs> or what? Is it not like that? Do you get rest yeah. ever? Or mm -hmm. no? Yeah, they're just like chittering and chattering. Have you seen those off? videos? It's like, this is what having schizophrenia is like. And it's yeah, like a like, guy that trying actually to get, like, has milk. It. No, it's like, I used to know what I'm talking about. Like, he does, he'll draw over his video, like, this is kind of what I see. <laughs> and it's just like, ah, like faces <laughs> everywhere. And they're making like constant, like, whatever you like, like, voices. I'm like, this, yeah, this, guy's this is crazy. awesome. <laughs> yeah. This is badass. Yeah. And he, he's talk, he talks about like these. Like there were worse ones. Like there were the scarier ones. <laughs> Jesus, he's like these ones are. These ones mean me no harm. These are the fine ones, yeah. yeah. Dude, I don't know if you know this, dude. You might be crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Diagnosed schizophrenic, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like that. I don't think personally. Yeah, pretty I don't annoying. know. I always yeah. thought of it as like you ever seen that movie, A Beautiful Mind, with Russell Crowe. Yeah. Oh, uh, what a film powerhouse of a film. sad movie it's sad, like sad though movies. but like give, he, give me the rundown of it let me see he's just he's just a simple man with incredibly high intellect yeah and he's like a mathematician or like a uh what's that called a, mm. a cryptologist a cryptola cryptographer yeah the no, guy that's into that like uh for. examining codes and stuff and he basically has like I don't I, I don't even know if that's one of his interests i now think that might be just part of his like weird crazy psycho schizophrenic, yeah, schizophrenic mind but he basically has people come up and they're like we're, we're from the government <clears throat> they're like i'm mansley from the government and we need you to work on this code it's for the war effort it's for the russians have the code or something and they and they would like give them codes and he would break them and um and and, and it turns out i don't think any of those people existed or something yeah, yeah, it's, it's, crazy. It's, like, wow. it's like he's he has, like crazy. this insane what a like, beautiful mind yeah, it is. It truly is. Because yeah. honestly, that? if I just had nothing going on in my life and was a math teacher, I'd probably just do it for 30 years and then die of like a heart attack. I, but this guy was having on his off time, he was working as a teacher. He's cracking Da Vinci codes. Uh, and then he was cracking all these codes and having these. There's a car chase in one point. He's chasing just by himself. He's having a car <laughs> chase. I, I've definitely talked about exciting. this before about the guy my freshman year that like was definitely pre-schizophrenic or becoming schizophrenic. I hate those things. Get that you hate face. them? This is I the know. best and part. My friends buy bags of just those. Get that little your friends thing. buy yeah. bags <laughs> of... You can <laughs> buy like just yeah. bags yeah. Yeah. Can of buy rye just chips? Yes. Yeah. They're called like Giottos or some bullshit, what? dude. Get that out of my fucking face now. Dude, rye uh, just sucks. I don't but, know. I don't uh, like rye. I've, I've talked to him before. Like, the guy, he just would... He would type, like papers and then shred them in the middle of the night and he is he would tell people that he worked for the fbi and like it was really kind of freaky because he was just a nuts, student yeah. yeah he was a freshman and he would just type like all night and then shred it and it's like what why is that such a thing where it's like i'm it's just like a it's just a type of schizophrenia where the government's giving you secret missions sam fuck off <laughs> Why is there not well, like cooler bra brands of it where you're like seeing goblins and like elves and stuff? Probably. Why do. is maybe I guess, but it's like such a. I feel like a lot of people are like either the government's after me or I'm working for the government. Because I would it's like, like a, it's, a, it's, some, a para, it's always like paranoia related. It's based on what you're raised on, right? If there's like a schizophrenic yeah. caveman, he'd be probably thinking about some like people, saber tooth. Probably the government. Well, some yeah. people have like natural. It's, no, it's a part of it. Is the FBI? I was gonna say like a, a natural disposition to to believing in the supernatural, and I feel like if you don't subscribe to the supernatural at all, then it's just straight up then, the government. Then it's gonna be like shadow organizations and stuff. Something that's what conceivable if, yeah. by man. But I would uh, see gnomes just shit everywhere. You know. Yeah, if you believe in like extraterrestrials or like supernatural and shit, yeah, you could be seeing leprechauns no, or whatever. Like that. That's ridiculous. Those like are aliens. not extraterrestrials. Or no, I said leprechauns. You leprechauns are aren't supernatural. No. What about like a unicorn? No, they're fantastical and they're okay. real. <laughs> they're, and they're gnomes are real. gnomes are pretty cool. Gnomes are real people. Yeah, they are. They're, kind, yeah, we, they're called shrinkies or gnomes. You ever, you ever heard of Little People, Big World? It's literally about yeah. gnomes. Literally about them. 
I used to watch that show all the time with my mom. <laughs> There's like someone what? in there that has, is like, oh, no. it's one of the kids that's regular sized. And then, uh, they call them the normals. Child. Yeah, normies. They normals. have a couple of normals. They're allowed to say that. No, <laughs> what, they call them. What age do you think the the boy that's like regular size like squared up to his dad? <laughs> like, yeah, right. Like, like <laughs> fucking six. seven probably. What are you going to do uh, about it? Yeah, it's like, what are yeah. you going to do? He has six on, years man. old. He's towering over him. What are you, why don't you take away my milk? See Learn your here. lesson, old man. We're watching <laughs> yeah. Bubble Guppies. All right. Yeah. Sit the fuck down. I want to watch Shut the, the game. fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> We're well, yeah, I just want to watch the Super Bowl, son. Yeah. We're watching Paw Patrol, bitch. Yeah. Sit down, dumbass. Fucking gives him What's a the remote on a high shelf? <laughs> gives him a fucking noogie and shit. Yeah. yeah. What's up, that little bro? That would be a nightmare if you had a horrible <laughs> child, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking well, about the, possibilities if I was maybe like a, yeah. a small person in the house. Yeah, and, say, and in Madeline the was people. an evil person, which she people is. In the big world, they're nice kids. <laughs> yeah. They never do that. But No, they're the nice for the, the TV. Yeah. yeah. Once know. the camera shuts off, then the hell starts. They're going to have a tell-all one day. I feel like all those people that are monsters on screen are usually pretty nice off. So that would be like Marco Pierre White and Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. They seem like Gordon they're probably nice. a monster. Are you kidding me? Have you watched his shows where he's just like yeah, screaming probably, and like dishwasher's faces and idiots, stuff? He's idiots. That's yeah. not, that's not well, a Well, he's an unlikable junior, person. Junior Iron Chef, he's nice with kids. So he's, uh, yeah. yeah, Junior, he's like, oh, it's okay, dog. You know it's who's okay. probably a dick though off camera? Simon Cowell. That yeah, he's always a dick. He's a dick yeah. on camera too, though. Yeah, that's and what he I mean. like a bunch of plastic yeah. surgery. He looks like a fucking yeah, he looks potato. Like, he looks weird. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. We should get a lot of plastic plastic surgery. I think we should. Uh, we should at least get lip fillers. I I want it to be painful when people tune in and there's like oh. <laughs> Like oh my like, god! And we get ring lights and everything, like a perfect like yeah. TikTok I mean, like, setup. Like, like, we all moved to LA. <laughs> yeah, we moved to LA. We're just drinking green drink. And- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Big, big ass fucking. Was yeah. it when you <laughs> when you get uh, lip fillers and then they migrate? They move outside yeah. your lips. Like so you have like a Shapiro. Yeah, he's got his fucked up lips right now. <laughs> he looks like a fucking bad. Uh, does he have shit, or like a monkey? Does he have uh, migrated fillers on that's his lips? A lot of people. I'll show you the picture. A lot of people. Yeah, think oh, that's what happened to him right now. That would be hilarious if Who? Ben Shapiro got lip fillers. Ben Shapiro. He also definitely wears makeup now, and it's like I do not wear makeup. For- yeah, wasn't, <laughs> wasn't there like a, a thing where he was like, "Yeah, I do, I do not. I never got any lip injections. I didn't get any heightening things. I'm not five yeah. foot four. I'm five foot five or some shit." Like, hold on, let uh, me see it. Okay, I'm trying to post it. He just looks fucking weird. My wife's pussy is never wet. It's just I've impossible. never jerked off. I only get cum from women making me. Uh, oh, yeah. It looks like he's packing a lower lip, dude. What the hell? Wait, why does he have a lip ring in one of them? What? I think those are AI pictures. <laughs> okay, that's like... that's. Like- yeah, so yeah, that's the exact thing. So for the record, I have not had both boat dogs. I am five nine, not five four. Stop saying that. No, these are all low quality. Also, apparently he doesn't have a penis spit. and he has three balls. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that's what I've heard, yeah. I don't know. I just I don't buy that just based off the fact that when people get lip fillers, I feel like none of them go, I want a microscopic upper lip yeah. and no, just a don't. giant yeah, lower lip. I don't think anyone picks for them to look like that. I think they can just fuck up or something. Well, or yeah, maybe he just has... Why do you do both? Maybe he just has weird... Lips. Uh, maybe got bit, stung by a bee in twice. Yeah. Two parts. yeah, exactly. Maybe he's just allergic. We're not here to body shame on the Forehead Fables podcast, but... Do you have any more funny pictures of this little freak oh, that we can laugh man. at? Yeah. <laughs> any Ben Shapiro pics? Mm. I follow a sister on Twitter. I'm reading this article and, and I just, I just scanned her in part. It's like the YouTube? host adds that yeah. he's five nine, weighs one hundred and fifty eight pounds, and has never gotten Botox. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Why did he include his height and weight in that? Because people, I don't know. Is, people say he's like five four. Oh, oh, oh gosh, she does have a YouTube. What the hell? Yeah, is her, she, is her she does as big as they say, or is that just? A joke? I don't know. She dresses like a goddamn Mennonite. She's got the, oh. the, the neck. The oh. neck of her dress is up to here. I can't and, Google uh, that woman. God, you're yeah. so sick. <laughs> we 
are. What do you want me to fucking say? All right, I'm a, I got a goddamn problem. I'm yeah, but she just like always all. talks about just dumbass conservative shit about like, uh, like this I mean, is why women should shut up. <laughs> it's always like little like tips for a housewife, how to make your husband Hold on, happy. Let's listen to her for a second. Hold on. No, a it's yeah, she it's it's good points. honestly I sent every video she made to Abby, but um. Abby's like, I don't understand how openly she just closes it. Abby honestly probably has saying? a very similar. Abby's like what you would call a trad wife. She's very much like oh, a, is she? I could yeah, see that. Yeah, she's actually. an Abigail Shapiro for sure. Yeah, she's always just like making little snacks and stuff and bringing them down here, <laughs> making me lattes and shit, and like cleaning the house, raising kids. And yeah, like, she's like, what? Just don't make me go back to work, boss. Like yeah, whatever. Yeah, please, I'll oh. I'll bake you a dozen cookies a fucking day. <laughs> Did Ben Shapiro get lip filler? I'm not going to lie. I sold. What? At some point, I fucked up. My recording stopped. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea when. No. <laughs> you ruined this. This was, this was 36 minutes of gold. We had 36 minutes of just hot fire. Myself. And you've killed it. I you've just, ruined it. I, I'm going to check the file. I just fucked oh, stalled shit. over. Yeah. I'm going to watch anyways. cartoons. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Let's talk so about our favorite cartoon episode. When they're going to the <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Um. All right, all right, that was a good segment. All right, what's next, guys? <laughs> what's where are we? <laughs> where are we going? And where? Are okay, we how going? about this? Let's talk about <laughs> going, the history of going? podcasting and what we think the future <laughs> of it could look like. Okay, the future is looking grim. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Second of all, no, 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 not ours. Pod yeah, oh. podcasting as a whole is going to drop off uh, like a rock. And but, we'll still uh, be doing it. Second quarter 23. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> predicting. But, but we will endure somehow. We could talk about Creator Clash. No, we can't talk about that. We, but, but, you guys can. I'm just going to be like, yeah, oh, that sounds fun. No way. Okay, awesome now way. we have to talk about it since it's going to make Brian yeah. awkward. Yeah. Okay, right, fucked up ahead. the file again a little bit, but it's <laughs> oh my god, my, dude, my, my, and you're the sober dude. One. This little thing fell and it hit my G3 <laughs> hey, button me, on my keyboard. He's trying to save hey, you. Uh, he fell over. He's dude, trying to save unlucky. you. I just deafened for like two <laughs> seconds, but that's oh not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what if I go get like so high I get scared and then I come back and <laughs> yeah, then we see great. if I can talk. No, no, better. no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It was the whole that like sounds, the file getting works. fucked up through a wrench in the whole thing. So <laughs> yeah. let's let's take a breather. I, it, I have to go pee pee was, something yeah, fierce. Yeah, take a five also. minute. Let's mm -hmm. call five minutes. And then I'm gonna walk around my room and go. Maybe I can talk about a picture of <laughs> who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, let me, oh, 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 that's uh, the door to the stairs. What's some stair related content? I uh, got nothing. Stairs are pretty solid. Uh, I got a great bit about my monitor, uh, IPS monitors. What do you think? <laughs> oh, wait, I just remembered this epic from this weekend when I was out at the bars. <laughs> oh, All right, okay, man. yeah. I'm Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. From a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology on the Beard Hedger Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard look. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using code FOREHEAD for 20% off and free shipping. I personally love using the Beard Hedger to get my clean lines on my beard and mustache that I have. And I know somebody else that would have liked it as well. Uh, it's time to tame your mane. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Pro Beard Kit. Uh, plus, it's waterproof, so you can shave in the shower to avoid all that hair in the sink. Uh, the Pro Kit doesn't end there, though. They have also created four dermatologist-tested formulations for your post-trim care. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code FOREHEAD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com and use code forehead. Manscaped Beard Hedger. One stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. Check out these, check out these guns. Look at that. Yeah, yeah that's scary, Sam. Look at you. Yeah. Get ripped. Get ripped. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Brian, one day me and you are going to tear this fucking world limb from limb. We're going to fuck, yeah, we're going to beat the shit. Dude, you know what's good? What? 
if we ever do another camping trip, I should probably not get out of breath in 30 seconds because I, uh, I like wearing a backpack. I would weigh what I weigh at the time when I did that fucking. Trip. Oh yeah. Then it's just like walking. Yeah. It's just like walking. Yeah. I've exactly. stopped doing any sort of cardio <clears throat> at all and I have no stamina <clears throat> and now I just, yeah, do, same. I just do weightlifting and, uh, Boy, oh boy, I get tuckered out going up and down staircases and shit now. I'm like, Whew. no, I just have bad <laughs> lung function because, you know, I sometimes smock a little bit. So my lungs get a little bit struggled. But um, I, I, I haven't smoked in like a week. I honestly need to go back to or two it. weeks. Really? I, I get like anxious now. You know, I, 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 I don't know if it's from the weed or or if you're just going through like an anxiety period. Yeah. Yeah. I, we were talking about uh, uh, like schizophrenics earlier. I've mm. never really had paranoia until last Quaid. night. Oh. And I, I, yeah, I got pretty goddamn fried. And then I went, I was watching Better Call Saul with Abby. And then I was like, oh, I'll just go down the stairs and go into my office. And on one side of the staircase, the staircase is like a splitting thing for the basement. And on yeah. one side's my office, on the other side's Abby's. And Abby's side is like locked. The door's locked to her side and the lights on in there. And I like tried the doorknob. And the second I tried the doorknob, I swear I hear someone move in there. And I'm like, <laughs> like my you fucking, shit your pants. Dude, yeah, like my stomach dropped. I was just yeah. like, I am way too cooked for this shit right now. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> but I got to do what I got to do. I got my goddamn kids sleeping upstairs. I'm going to have to fucking confront this situation. Well, the rear of this room, it has like a lot of these like sliding glass doors on it, right? Yeah. And so then I get a good idea. I'll get my goddamn as a flashlight on it. And I can redact it. Say, I'll get my goddamn. I'll get my. Sword. Boop. Yeah. It has a. Say that. Yeah. 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 It's got a flashlight attached yeah. to my sword. My oh, I'm a, what is that called? I'm a conscientious objector to violence, but I do have a flashlight and, and sometimes light scares evil. And whoever was That's down true. in this basement like was Wake. evil. Yeah. I give it a whole goddamn scan and nothing, but the back door, <clears throat> like there was a lot of time in between me, like leaving where I tried the doorknob to going upstairs, getting a flashlight, asking Abby, why is the, your office door locked? She was like, I locked it when you went on that camping trip because it weirded me out thinking someone could come in through the back of the house and be down there. Well, that way they have <laughs> two different your... things to go through. So she had locked yeah. the deadbolt. Airlocks, dude. Yes, yeah, airlocks, yeah. Huh. And uh, Which is smart, honestly. Uh, yeah. And then I went downstairs and looked through all the windows and everything because they were lit up and I was in the dark backyard. I figured yeah. they wouldn't be able to see me out there. Nothing but the back door was unlocked. And I was like, they, like, they could have just like walked out once they he heard me go back up the stairs. Yeah. It fucking weirded me out, dude. I was like, oh, what if this is like, fucking what if good, man. Like alien doing like a Fortnite dance. Yeah, just in what there do do, doing, doing a yeah, little dude, dance what, in my, in yeah, my goddamn do? family room. <laughs> in the kids' playroom. Yeah. yeah, doing like the backpack kid dance or whatever. Yeah. My mom. I had to shoot it with my sword. Uh, well, like, that's just me having like a hunch, you know? Like, not mm. like a hunch, but I honestly think I was just paranoid as hell. Yeah, probably. Um, and I'd never like felt like that level of just like, like I don't know Paranoia. like what yeah just yeah I, I guess like uh, anxiety about danger I guess like ah like someone's here somewhere in the shadows because I was I like more, sure. I, I'm like a hypochondriac and it's like amplified when I'm high like I remember like randomly when I was really high I was just like oh my god I used baby powder on my asshole for like a year what if I have like cancer now because uh, remember like all those people were getting cervical cancer. I'm using baby mm, powder. Yeah. I thought, I'm like, what if my asshole has cancer? <laughs> and I sat there for like an hour and a half just thinking about that until I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It gets loopy if, I, if I'm too high. Mm. Reasoning. Reasoning goes like, out the window. Baby powder went in my ass. <laughs> I've got cancer now. How the fuck are you baby powdering no. your ass? You're like an old man. I used, to, I used to take really nasty peanut buttery, like, hot burning shit. So then I would use... Like, I'd use you have no fiber, you have no fiber out. in your diet. Well, I mean, I'm okay now, but this was like years ago. This, this, years this ago. was on my McDonald's train when it was exactly McDonald's was day like in a, and day out. I was eating chicken nuggets every day. Yeah. Uh, hey, by the way, I thought about an awesome guest. Okay, let me Cutie hear it. Pie. Okay, so 
uh, this guy's old, old blood of Joe YouTube. Biden. He's been around for a hot minute. His name's Rang oh. Wrangler Star. <laughs> Who? Uh, Wrangler Star. He used to be like a homesteading, like if you were like a DIY, like just regular dude that like okay. just wanted to seem manly, you would you would go watch Wrangler <laughs> Wait, Star. You've talked, you've talked about this guy because I had a purple link when I looked them up. Yeah, yeah. I've talked I've about him you, before. Well, I've never now seen this it, guy. If you go look at his shorts, he's gone off like this, like uh -oh. talking about paranoid or paranoid people like this guy is just <laughs> sure that there's going to be like a civil war he's like guys like we're like 12 days away from complete and utter anarchy in the united states they're going to start attacking like power substations all uh. across the pacific northwest and this is what you need you need to get this this and this he's like a prepper guy now and i was looking for a prepper you were looking for a prepper and now this prepper. guy that i already had an interest with has lost his fucking he noodle, and yeah. he is now turned into the very thing that I'm I'm looking for. What a great guest he could That's be! That's a sign from yeah. God. Yeah, what it is? is. Um, so you. what will we talk to him about? Let's talk about, about that this podcast that we <laughs> yeah, 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 plan. We get two for one. <laughs> well, I don't want to like Genius. I don't want to badmouth him because then if this comes out, oh, he'll, shit, he'll get yeah. yeah. Oh wait, so well, Holy we shit, wouldn't like be badmouthing him right? though. We would be having a real interview with him. Oh, so we fake say what we're gonna say to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, yeah, um, he would be very laudatory. He, he would, he would walk away beaming, and we'd be like, uh, "This guy's awesome." Probably pay him too, to be on it. Loads of money. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ask him if he thinks Miley Cyrus is actually dead, and that it's a fake one. I, that is that. one of my favorite conspiracy that's a real, theories. That's a take. That's an yeah. actual that conspiracy honestly theory. Honestly, makes sense to me though. So I get it. I get <laughs> yeah. where he's coming from. Yeah. They were, it's to something about, about like the the oh. like the uh they couldn't control the previous Miley and so they killed her. <laughs> she was too nuts. Yeah. Why they, they, they put her in Hannah her Montana? Why have they, why? Why have they it created was, her? It was near like the fall of Hannah Montana or something like that, is when they killed her and replaced her. She was going her. wild. She went too yeah. crazy. Yeah. Those uh, aren't the bottom asking line. Shit about, can rebuild asking her things about like a pay better. raise and and going on about like uh, oh. having rights, all that stuff. Billy That's Ray crazy. was having none of it. Yeah. yeah. So he Billy. built a new daughter. Yeah, yeah, would that mean? I wonder if that mean robotics new. or like in a test tube? Probably in a they test probably, tube. They probably well, just found thinking, the like, new a clone. One. Is he thinking cloning or? I like how uh, we're creations. assuming of all the they celebrities to have the Miley. expendable income to manufacture a fake daughter. <laughs> It would be Billy, Billy Ray. Ray Cyrus, yeah. a guy that's known for like a one-hit wonder, now yeah. a two-hit wonder. You know he was getting that Miley Cyrus money, though, a oh, little bit, because sure. she was yeah. a child actor, so. Yeah, that's a Actress, parents in a lot yeah. of time, they make... <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Whatever, I don't even remember what I said, dude. <laughs> uh, that's true, yeah, yeah they, he could have like, like Macaulay culkin did. I would he's like to ask him if he's talking Did clone Macaulay or robotics. Did Macaulay get robbed as a kid? His parents. That's why he looks like Scott. with everything, yeah. Yeah, Michael Jackson, same thing. Yeah. Uh, yes, that uh, was, like a, imagine a being like eight years old <laughs> and having like a million dollars. Like That is true. I would, I would buy, buy the craziest <laughs> shit. I would have probably bought a person if I could have. Be, it'd be uh, like that sure. kid from Blank Check. <laughs> they yeah. really have a movie I, about it. I would it. try <laughs> to make a clone of myself, the better version, and then have them do my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> what is that movie where he's like... Yeah, that, he's something, right? It's like Peter Griffin or something. No, it's no, like... Where they, it's, he has it's, like is a, it Richie Rich or something? No, it's oh, like, uh, check. It's about a movie where they like check. Oh. It's the one where he gets hit by a, a car in, on his bike, and the guy's like, "Here's a check for whatever your bike costs," and he put like a million dollars down. Oh, I haven't seen that. And it's a, it, and he like he like buys like this huge Whoa, mansion. That, and, sounds, that sounds like a great premise for a kids movie. And he makes out. He gets he which gets is, to kiss like an adult woman, which is fucking oh, weird. Oh, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. wait, I have I've seen that clip. Yeah, <laughs> this hot ass bitch. Yeah, he, he yeah, like, yeah so I've seen that on Twitter. Uh it's funny yeah, though, like a million dollars really wouldn't get you. I mean, it'd get you a lot, but not like back then in the well, 90s. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, true. But like, I, I would think in a like kid a movie, thousand like, thousand like how many buys Max. a giraffe or something at one point, or kids and shit. They're, they're always buying weird track animals. And shit. It's oh, sick. They always get track. like yeah. help. I feel like, I, help? I feel, yeah, I feel <laughs> like, like a, a rich kid is going to be like, I want a butler. Yes, I want a butler. I want a chef to make me PBJs whenever. Yeah, I want like. I want a maid that sucks my wiener while I play <laughs> Mario Kart. Oh. They definitely have, yeah, milkmaid. They have the person with the big fucking leaf that yeah. fans them. Like, just <laughs> milkmaid. Yeah. yeah, they do real, like, feudal lord shit. 
if they get True. money. I do investing. I'm, I, I've lost all my creative yeah. spirit. What's up with that? Yeah, you know, before you know it, Bitcoin. you're an adult. Yeah, you do investing. But, yeah. That's so lame. Yeah. That's so crazy. I think dude. NFTs are going to be you, huge because I'm eight years old. You should build old, a laser so tag like, room. That's that would be way cooler. Yeah. Oh, they do have tag. a more like um, they 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 spend it for the experience, you know. And I'm saying yeah, exactly. it for what reason? You yeah. know, for, no, for I, yeah, I'd kids, be buying a lot of for cool what, kids, kids college shit. fund. Dude, you don't I, even know if they're going to college. I don't even know. They can't even, even, even read yet. Her. Why would I assume yeah, they're going to go to college? Her, give her an SAT test. See She's how talking does. about maybe... skinning people and eating it. This kid ain't going to college. <laughs> yeah, this, and do you I, want an educated psychopath out there? That's dangerous, no. dude. You want yeah, dumb as shit. Dangerous. All the kids that type. Yeah, all the kids that show like a kind of a penchant for violence. You know, educate them. Exactly. Stomp them down. Yeah, you send them off to be like migrant farmers or something, where they move around and don't you, have you a stable talking. residence, and they can <laughs> yeah. they can drift in and out of well, towns committing crimes. Exactly. Very hard to track. Exactly. I don't know if this is doxing, but you were talking about how you intentionally signed up for a bad school district. <laughs> and you were going to put her into public school so she would, you know, be dumber. She built character. Yeah. yeah. Build character. Yeah. Yeah. Make you most Pretty dumb. <laughs> um, uh, oh, man. Man, I those to- public schools are not good. One of them that we're zoned for. <laughs> I, I, uh, it has barbed wire around it, guys. I'm pretty yeah. upset that's here. So, yeah. <laughs> Dude, so they, there was. I don't know that? if it's to keep them kids in or not, or to keep the people <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah. That keep that who, school, who in? Or yeah. Someone out. That school I, uh, had what? gangs beginning when I went there, and now oh, it's like it I've heard turrets. it's even worse. It's gone down from like a seven or a six down to like a two on the rating. They scale. got four year olds fucking drug running yeah, and shit. Got, yeah. Kids mm. have stiletto knives and shit. Did I? Did you see that video on Twitter recently? That it went kind of viral. Of it was like a high school, and there was a tour, and the people are going through it, and it had like a planetarium and a huge pool, like D one size basketball court. Uh, it had like a full workshop, like with cars in it, where people could like cut into them, like auto shop, and it just crazy stuff. It's goddamn in Indiana, and <laughs> it's that town I've talked about before, where I'm like, oh, these goddamn rich bastards. Their fucking high school is like a college campus. They have cafes in there and stuff what where they the can fuck? buy drinks and food. Bitch, like, shit compared all. to love- my school in Indiana, it's so shocking. We got a vending machine in our school. I was a talk of the goddamn Dude, town for a year. My school was grim compared to the. It's just. It, was it would up. be a lot harder to. I wouldn't have been a varsity athlete at that school. <laughs> so you got to consider that too. You know, it's a lot more competitive, but I. I and a lot of kids in the video look stupid still, which made me feel better. Yeah. But it's just such a better setup for So success. they got cool stuff. Yeah. Like knowledge. I feel like you just have to learn more there. I feel like even if you took that nice facility and you populated it with the kids that I went to school with, it would be destroyed in a short amount of time. Yeah. It'd be ruined. That's fair. Yeah. I know I've told this story, but like in shop class, our, our like construction... No, I don't like department was going to get shut down multiple times. Like I I got to watch my, my district decline in quality in my lifetime, but I was there like the, the shop teacher, Mr. Bearable, he kept getting, yeah, he kept getting threatened. They were just like, dude, like one more fuck up. This whole department's gone. Like you (laughs) and the drafting teacher on the other side of that fucking wall are out of here. And he was like, cause the the kids kept pouring concrete down the drains and the sinks. And they kept, they, they, kicked uh they they, like kicked in his window or something like that on his he had a uh like a cargo van and they poured polyurethane all over his seats in his dashboard and it went down into his vents why and so like the inside of his car was just laminated and he's like i'm a goddamn public school teacher i make like thirty thousand dollars a year i can't afford to buy a new van dude so he just drove around this laminated hard plastic (laughs) cargo van yeah what the hell? Yeah. It was it bearable, it, though? You know what I mean? The kids were rough. Shitty. They were rough, yeah. So if you had a place yeah. with, like, car lifts and shit, they would have killed somebody. Like, I would rather yeah, be crazy. Yeah. I wonder what kind of trouble the school would get in if they Actually, dropped a car on a kid. Real simple thing. Construction <laughs> class. Mr. Parable would never let us get near any of the power tools because he didn't trust us. So we spent a lot of time doing like popsicle stick construction with like glue and stuff. In high school? In high school, uh, yeah. Dude, he was like, my he's my special uh, padded classroom I had. And yeah. oh, wait, you he was out. He like, let dude. me pull out paint once and I made a mess and he was just like, no, 
fucking no. Like we're <laughs> he lost no it. more paints, no more fucking power tools. And this kid found a way to fuck himself up. It was hilarious. He went and did like at, at all these uh, like support beams. They had. Uh, air compressor lines that went down the beams. Oh my god! And he right. he grabbed a little air compressor nozzle and stuck it in his mouth and pulled the trigger oh. and collapsed his lung. It like Jesus it <laughs> killed his lung because everybody was doing that thing where you like pull you it and make your fucking voice. I know, right? <laughs> everybody was doing that thing where it's like a wind tunnel and you go like oh, and your yeah. mouth gets all wide and everything. And he was like, "What happens if I stick it all the way in and just <laughs> he did okay. it and then immediately just <laughs> fell over on the floor? It was yeah. like." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You actually, dude, were you in like a the special class? Yeah, dude. dude I honestly think you might have. I don't think you realize this. Were, were the walls padded? Was the, yeah, were, were there they, like five uh, teachers yeah, per they, class? They, did all your classmates wear helmets? Like, what the fuck was going on in there? It wasn't. Uh, you know, I was in the the best of. Uh, you know, I wasn't in AP oh. classes. If that's what yeah, you're asking. Yeah, but, my my art teacher's wall was connected to like the special ed room, and so he made just, a comment like zombie like, moaning a couple through the times. Walls. Yeah, he made a comment once where you could just hear them in there like yelling. He was like, like "God, like what are they feeding those people or something?" And everyone's yeah. like, "Ooh!" And he said yeah. something about like I can always hear them hooping and like hollering. And one of the but students in the class, his brother was in there, and so he got pretty upset. But oh, it was I mean, it was it was it was interesting. Don't you uh, have one of I these, wanna, by the way? I yeah, I do. Yeah, I've got do. two. Yeah, yeah. You, I haven't used it in a while. I don't know where it is. Upstairs I realize they're something. for bottles, and I never drink bottles. Oh, no, no. Are cans too. No, I put the can on there, and this This thing's too high collared. It gets in the way of me sipping. Oh well, mine is uh, a zip up jacket oh, that looks a little a different. Boy. You know they ha they have different versions, so you might have got. I don't know. They have a wine one too. That's like a full sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. I have a couple That's like big cool. ones. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's all right. So now, how do you drink out of that? Well, it's just a koozie with that looks like a little jacket, but yeah. For the audio listeners, it's a, I'm holding yeah. up a koozie. He's holding up a little it's little, a little jacket. jacket. It looks like a little doll's jacket. That's what I need for this guy. His I know. Body. I, put that I bet you that would hold, hold wait, up. Do you cut holes in the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. You cut off. Okay. Wait. Hold up your your figurine exactly <laughs> approximately six inches away from the camera. Six uh, inches? That's yeah. like what this. Okay, wait. Shoulder width fit. is proper. <clears throat> that might work, dude. Yeah. A little it, bit of it, seamstress work. It's more like here. That could yeah. be a, yeah. yeah. The shoulders are lining up. Yeah, you should bring yeah. it to a fucking tailor and be like, can you yeah. get this to fit this yeah. guy right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, yeah, go into your local like <laughs> men's Do not place. Lift. Do not yeah. lift the hat when you touch get it. Him, okay. Get him I would like this drink koozie put on this muscular <laughs> figure. And I can't figure out how to do it myself. Yeah. Damn it. No, shit, wait, stop, blur that out. Uh, wait, did his fucking weeder come out? I honestly... His little hat fell. I honestly <laughs> think that they would do it. I think I think if you... They yeah, might, yeah, yeah, if you paid them, for that? Yeah, they yeah. would, think, they would yeah. be like, that's funny, I'll do that. Unless they're like some curmudgeonly old dude. Um, I've always wanted to get like a like a a three piece tailored suit. I want to get to like uh, what I consider like a healthy weight, and then I want to get like a legit nice suit. And then you're just, not in a healthy weight right now. Nah, I want I want to like give me a profile uh, shot. Yeah, you, dude, look, you look like, dude, you're, you look you look like fine. you're fine. What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, give, give us a profile. No, you're, you're not. Profile. You're no, not, I've you're been eating unhealthy. a lot of Chex Mix. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wait, a wait, carb bloat. Yeah, yeah so that, it's even less than now. Yeah. Um, dude, I think I've you're been drinking a lot of mojitos. You're fine, but you're fine. You're gonna get. You're, fine. you're gonna lose. I mean, you're gonna start getting into anorexic territory, okay? But you're gonna lose exactly. a little more weight and get a three piece. Suit. If you end up like Eugenia Cooney, I'm gonna fucking laugh, dude. That would be what, awesome. What what color cool. like three piece? Uh, probably like navy. Nice. Navy, Navy wow. gray. No, I already have a gray suit. No, you have to get like a dumb like and, you gotta get like a you gotta get like a dumb and dumber suit where it's just oh, like yeah, orange the, or like yeah, blue orange or something. Blue. Oh, those are great. Yeah. Insane color, like a fucking cool. Willy Wonka suit. I went to like felt Austin Powers shit. Be cool. Big ass plume. Yeah. I mean <laughs> I'm about to lose about. some teeth, so I'm gonna look like, you want to look like a pimp. Dude. Austin Powers. Yeah, like a pimp. I, I actually cool. I watched that Malcolm X movie and I want the zoot suits from the beginning of that movie if you haven't seen it. 
I have not they seen have, it. No. Okay. Now, there's a Malcolm X movie. There's a Malcolm X movie. Do you just watch movies all day? Like, holy shit. Yeah, dude, but every time like, I recommend a movie, you're like, I don't have time, dude. I can't be watching yeah, movies. And then you, Anyways, you know, 1995, you know, they, they came out with um, a Malcolm X. It's a Spike Lee joint. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I just haven't seen it. Spike Lee and Denzel are in like the opening scene. It's like 1930s Brooklyn, I think. I Google the suit. And they're at just like prime zoot suit stage let me see they got the full ass like parachute oh, yeah. pants long jacket i see wide it. brim hat feather oh, yeah. spike awesome. lee suit oh. is so awesome yeah. and his walk dude look at the walk can we wear that can we wear that shit to twitch con That'd look be at dope. the walk oh, you gotta no. watch the video of the walk sweet dude, they do sure the arm sway and everything that. And they do synchronized like hat tilts <sighs> to ladies. They're like lady on the yeah. lift, and then they both whoop, oh, do a little fuck. hat tip. It's I mean, badass. Denzel's definitely winning that one. He's got like a sweet feather on his. Are you kidding me, dude? Spike Lee's is his suit is way more badass. I but mean, that yeah, but he, he looks like a bad so guy much. from Tom and Jerry. Like he's he's like <laughs> yeah, he he's does. got like the super he wide plaid. That is only around in the 30s. <laughs> like six inch long, like wide plaid. I love the fuck. I love the bowling shoes that comes with it. <laughs> yeah, the, awesome. the wingtip. Yeah. yeah, the wingtip. Yeah, I love this Those kind of are awesome. When swag was born. Fire <laughs> yeah. emoji. Fuck yeah. That is when swag was born. <laughs> yeah. When they walked like that, that was so badass. <laughs> that was the first pimping. cool thing someone ever did. <laughs> ever. Yeah. It's one of the it's cooler things from, anyone's dude. ever done. What's crazy is they they show like they have like a of course they go to like a swing club and they have like a huge synchronized dance scene and oh, every time watch you this see movie. every time you see That's like swing clubs they always have big synchronized dance scenes were they that do you think they were that great prevalent I mean whatever happened to the era of you know like the electric slide and stuff we as a nation I feel yeah. like used to do more group now dances people, yeah. yeah now people and just now kind of move like around everyone Square do dancing, their own like, thing everyone's so unique yeah, out there, everyone yeah. would be so unique they're afraid everybody or knew how to Fortnite do dances on back in my day yeah. America danced together we danced well, in our, uniform uh, we're like in Footloose now and I don't know when that happened to us Probably drink for Footloose. Yeah, probably oh, when yeah. Footloose came out, I gave a lot of talents a great idea. God damn it. Also, I'm assuming this, Ma Macarena. this Malcolm X movie has also just got to be like incredibly sad at points, right? Because from what I'm seeing, it looks like a fun, like upbeat movie. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, well, it's really upbeat until he gets indoctrinated into hating white people. Uh, it, does he yeah. Does he actually do that? <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah. He's a white people. <laughs> No, I was oh watching. I was watching that shit, and I was like, "Damn, dude, this this shit makes me feel guilty as fuck." <laughs> dude, I bet. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> you didn't do nothing. It's, you didn't even born when it happened. It was a rough ass movie to watch as a white Ooh, person. I was like, Jesus dude. Christ! And then they hit him. All right. Have you watched? <laughs> have you ever seen Twelve Years a Slave? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you feel bad. I think you, I think <laughs> you reference that every time you do a Targov stream, you oh, name yeah, it like well, yeah, X years yeah. a slave. Yeah. That free well, well, I don't that, know if you've seen it. That first one is a slave. That first one came after we did that great. Uh, <laughs> we riffed about Michael Fassbender. Oh, on a, oh, in a hunt showdown God, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then the, uh, I think, I think that's when I named that stream. Nice. Shortly after, and now that. it's made tradition. Yeah, it is. What is it, oh. three in a row? Yeah, but now Abby like constrains well, me. She she, gets mad well, she's like, you can like wake up as early <laughs> as you want, back. but you got to get off uh, at five. Well, you That's still slavery. You That's still slavery, mind. dude. It's Eight tired. hours of slave. You're fired, Abby, okay? I can't <laughs> play my games. All right, let me play video games. Come on. <laughs> I was you should have a you should have a video where you just record your day day to day life called four hours of slave. It's like from four to five to nine. <laughs> yeah, from five to nine. You hang out with us. Yeah. Me four juggling kids and shit. No. Yeah, my fuck, yeah. Fuck so it's bad. actually not okay to peel people's skin off and eat it, honey. Like, <laughs> like how do you how do you? Find, I was trying to explain to my in laws why I wasn't going to ever hit my kids, and they were like completely you, crazy, flabbergasted. Yeah, jaws on the floor. Like, wait, like. What? Like, Wait, huh? What? what? God. It's the only but when they, they speak. yeah, when they don't do <laughs> things, you're like, hit them more. And yeah. why they'll that'll teach them. 
And I'm like, well, I want them to be like better than me. <laughs> and so, yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if they're cooler than you too? Is it what's yeah, next? Yeah, you, know? you, you just start hitting useless? them because then you're what if, yeah, you're what if one of them becomes funnier than you? Oh, Ooh. I'll break his funny bone <laughs> in half. I'll crack it over yeah. my knee. Yeah. 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 Fair. No, they'll probably end up being lazy as fuck or something. Just like all those, we were talking about that before. People way funnier than us that are oh, yeah. so goddamn lazy. They oh, I didn't swift. say way funnier. <laughs> okay, I never yeah. said that. I said funnier. Maybe yeah. we're trying Barely. to get. We're trying to. Get, we've been trying to get Brian to make shit for years. Now we're trying to get Swift funny, to make shit. Dude, I've been trying well, to get my Swift friend Mason to making make shit. He's poop making shit. Oh yeah, he's super busy with that. It's he's yeah, he can't. He's he's signed for it. Dude, now. he's you. No, he's not. He's still he's, he's with Creator he's, Club. Uh, oh shit, we weren't supposed to talk no, about that. that. Creator Club, contract. dude. What a what a a huge monolith in the gaming community. It's hard to get. It's it. hard to get an editor. Hard to get any graphic design work done when they're just. They're employing yeah, everybody. Sucking them all up. Yeah, dude. they're is, like fucking is, Disney over here. Honestly, yeah, kind of crazy. How many people Guys, go like, ahead work and for just them? Basically, leave it's, a big thumbs down to any cool, person. Though, like, we've got you've clash. got what four, dude? You're getting beat hard. You've got like, I, three. I totally, yeah. And you guys kind of like live your yeah. own goddamn lives and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys what? step it up, like people that work for him. Yeah, like oh, Creator yeah, Clash yeah, yeah. has got or Creator. Are you talking about Creator Clash or Creator Club? Creator Club. What I okay, say? that's what, what I was talking about. I, I just oh. fucked it up. Creator yeah. Clash is that boxing match coming yeah. up. I, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Creator Club brain, is the bad guys. Yeah. Those yeah. are the, yeah. those the are evil yeah. Wait, Well, yeah. not yeah. to be connected, but we are, yeah, we're, we're going to hype it up. And then in we're going to the fight Pepsi, them at the next Creator Clash. Twitch. In and the Pepsi gonna, versus Coke, like that dude, Creator Club that, versus us is. A three way match. We're trying to get, we're trying to, yeah. Spread some anger so we can get into Creator Clash. And Sam said he's gonna kill Aqua. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. he's gonna punch him through the stomach and out his back. Yeah, yeah. gonna re re break his ribs. Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly where they're punch loose. Punch him with a yeah. fucking heart. Dude. I watched. I watched a couple videos on open heart surgery. I know exactly where your weak point is. His weak I'll come spot. at him like this, and then oh. yeah, yeah, open his sternum up. I, oh God. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be able to swing a punch at him. We'd probably get our asses kicked. <laughs> that would be funny if we went in for the with the soul Talking like super yeah. like. Well, we have to get of shit. we have to get jacked and we have to put out a bunch of promo videos where yeah. it's just us like just doing oh wild God. shit and then we go there Punching and we blocks lose. with their faces on it. Yeah, we lose every fight across the board. <laughs> yeah. Just get knocked out after one punch. Yeah. Of you run blood. away, calling timeout <laughs> yeah. and shit, fucking get crying. Uncle, Uncle! <laughs> yeah, give him, I give him. It's me. Oh my god. That'd be so embarrassing. Just like hit once in the gut and be like, I'm out. Like yeah. just <laughs> collapse from that. <laughs> He, he, he kind of just like grazes your cheek, you fall over, and you don't get back. My up. tooth finally comes out. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to fight in one of those. I just want to keep watching. I'd have a I bunch would, of blood capsules in my mouth. Probably. I would like to see you fight Wubby, Sam. That, that we talked about that last yeah. one, but it'd be funny. That, I yeah, I don't think happen. that would ever happen. <laughs> I think they're no. getting now too big, also, because the last one. Yeah. It's a hot one scenario where I was like, well. maybe if a I get to a million yeah. subs, I'll be able to get on hot ones. And then no, when I got no, to a million like subs, they were like, star Tom Cruise, come eat hot wings <laughs> with <laughs> us. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Mr. Oh, Mark. Well, yeah. So the uh, yeah. So not, let's start our own. Not yeah. only that, but they seem to be sticking in like the same ruts Hotter of ones. people. Aren't, aren't there like yeah. rematches and shit that go around? It's like they, a lot yeah. of the same faces. They didn't feel like yeah. finding new talent. If I was I, up to them, if I was running that thing, I would have said, you "Get new, a completely new cast. Get out of here, you fucking bums!" Yeah. And then I'm yeah. gonna get a whole new set of people. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Forehead Fables and Creator Club. No, That's I would get I would Minecraft guys. Yeah. I would, I would oh, say Minecraft, Dream. Yeah. I Dude, want I you to a lot fight. Of them wouldn't fight though, because that Dream, Dream's, Dream's kind of. I heard Dream's getting fat again. But <laughs> no, <he> would, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I hope Wait. Not. So was that, or was that not a picture of him that we were ripping on? It was. No, it was. That leaked picture was him, but fat. And I think oh. he like lost a shit ton of weight, and he's like, "I'm gonna prove these fuckers." Okay. So okay. Anymore. But now he's proven. No, it, it's so too he's similar. Like, yeah. I'm back. Now he look. Now he yeah. looks normal. Is that what's and happening? Apparently, he lost viewers after he showed his face. I don't know what the fuck they thought was gonna happen. Um. I don't know. People, people just like the weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. People just like hype yeah. shit like that up every time. If you're a pro fucking... Minecraft YouTuber, there's a very small chance. 
that you look fucking gorgeous. Yeah, that you look like, super like the people they yeah. were thinking he looked like. It's like, come on. Yeah, they wanted like some... same with that corpse husband guy. They all think he's probably the most handsome oh, guy ever. Yeah. He, he probably, probably looks like Harry yeah. Styles, but talks like that. Yeah. <laughs> he plays video games every day. Like, would, he cannot I, be that great looking. I'd totally love for one of them to come out though and just be like, <laughs> Brad Pitt. Yeah, 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 that, that would insane. be awesome. I'm shy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> holy shit. Yeah, I've got an eight pack. Check this out. Yeah. There was That'd a guy dope. like that. I forget who it was. He, he like he just did like a face reveal, and he just had like a like an insane <laughs> jawline and everything. Jaw. Oh, Super God. deep voice, and I was like, "Fuck this guy, dude!" Yeah, what the hell. Beautiful what long flowing hair. Yeah. Oh fuck that uh, guy, dude. No, it was it was back in the Rust days. It was one of the Rust guys. Oh, oh. Rust. Well, that makes more sense. Rust guys are badass. You know, way more yeah, badass. pretty, yeah, pretty they're strong cats. and big. Because they play Rust. Yeah. yeah. It a, takes a different type of man to play Rust. By the way, I was you guys were playing it earlier and I was listening to Omid and Omid was just like, Yeah, we need to like buy VIP so we can skip the queue. Do you want to play in this server with eight hundred people? And I was yeah. I was trying to think in my mind what a Rust swipe with 800 people would be like sounds like hell yes. dude, it sounds like yeah, a nightmare I, fucking insane. I don't um, think there'd be a square foot of of like <laughs> actual just, be a bloodbath. Yeah. just safe no. environment where you could build yeah. a house or something <laughs> that'd be hell there'd be Which people door camping you all the time you know there's just like clans of 40 goddamn chinese dudes that are gonna stay up all hours of the at night. that point yeah uh, no, it's, i beat omid into the i just started joining the, the queue dirt. of 100 people and by the time he got uh, VIP, um, I was already in. You already in. Yeah, because uh -huh. he, they fucked up, and then they wouldn't answer a support ticket for like an hour. <laughs> so it was just a waste of money. And oh my god. You know, yeah, but if you actually, what server already, is that? What, what server was that? That's a piece of shit. And not worth buying a VIP for. Super laggy too. Yeah, it was like with the Reddit <laughs> one. Uh, Wait, there's an official one. like. Reddit, I didn't know they had a Reddit yeah. one. Yeah. R slash Reddit or whatever. Yeah. R slash Rust. Yeah. Do you remember um, Rusty Moose? <laughs> yeah, dude. Of course, I. That's my favorite server. Ever. That was the best. Is server that the one ever. with? Is that the one with Earn? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. yeah that's Earn how I used to get VIP. I'd be like, Earn, please. <laughs> dude, please. Do you now. remember begging her all the time? Like, Earn, yeah. oh, I love that, you. You're my favorite admin for a Rust server. There's a picture somewhere of Omid gotten like an injury, and he had like a head wrap on, and like he looked fucked up. And he wrote, like, Earn, please give me VIP. Yeah. And he had me send it to her. I'm like, here, like, please. It worked, too. She's I was defending your cool. honor. Yeah. I mean, that's the... I mean, <laughs> Sam, I have ever... I remember Rusty Moose. That's where we met, okay? You know, there's a lot that's happened there. Oh, yeah. A lot of history, is, yeah. Brian. That's, that's where we server. met. Same wife. Uh, like, it's the village, you know, Aqua's little, little village. Have you went and played Rusty Moose since then? No, maybe. Shithole. Well, yes. Yeah, it's, it's now like a clan server, it's right? A, it's a, that's is a it? tough one to stomach, dude. There's yeah. some mean motherfuckers on that server. Yeah. Oh, just cold-blooded killers, dude. That's like super max prison for just badasses. They keep yeah. them all on Rusty Moose. <laughs> you try to put up a goddamn one-by-one one in that server, and it's game over, dude. You got like four people knocking on your door in 10 minutes. Like, hey, we're going to get everything we got, man. We're going to get everything. Yeah. They're not funny about it. They just destroy you and move on. Yeah. Like and they're, like, toes. really mean, and you can't talk yeah. to them a lot of the time. Like, you can't yeah. even joke around. No. They'll, They'll just call off. you a slur and, like, teabag you and shoot <laughs> well, you. Well, there's no, there's no, like, seeing a, another guy, like, farming and be like, hey, dude, you know, I'll <laughs> stick to my side of the forest. They just see you, and they're... Yeah. Like rabid they're already, dogs. They're already crafting a spear. Yeah, to kill yeah. You they're like, hey man, how you doing? You see that spear pop up on their back? <laughs> yeah. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, what fuck. though? Playing that today, it was it was actually really fun, but the entire time I just wanted to play Dark and Darker. I was really I just, that I game. Was just yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. I tried to fill that hole with like three games at once. <sighs> I know. Hit the same. It's. I don't. I might re-download Hunt just to get like a oh my something God. somewhat similar you know, in the same world. I, Hunt is fun. Yeah, Hunt's always fun. I never got super into it, but I have played it a decent amount. This is um, a shoot like shooting game. I mean, I know it, yeah, I've played it a decent amount. <laughs> it's just a shooting <laughs> game. I've, I, 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 it, dude, like Hunt does it. Is. I, I honestly, I think that might be top. Easily yeah, top really five like favorite games. I have 80 yeah. hours. I wouldn't say that, but I think so. It's I wouldn't go fun. that far. Because I, I keep returning all. to it, and it's and it's always a fun time. 
And Jace, just based off like time played, I have. You're looking at it right now. Yeah, let me look at it. Uh, Probably like I don't 300. I don't have that much. No, I have 780 hours. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, I have played I have 420, a lot. actually. 420 blazed hours. <laughs> I have a lot yeah. of hours on Hunt, dude. That's a, that's a good game. <laughs> you have almost double mine. Holy shit. And you know what? They've never had audio problems like some fucking other game that I know. And Tarkov? Yeah, and you, and you oh, can okay. just go in with a Freeman. You don't have to sit there and put together a crazy kit. They just go, hey, you got some, Unlike here's Tarkov. some bullets. You know, you don't have to sit there and go like, mm, yeah. what cartridge size is this? Yeah, fuck that shit. Dude, yeah, that's... I wish for, like, uh, Tarkov and... Uh, well, I don't, but I do. But, like, games like League, you could see time played. Because I was going to say Rust is my most time played. So I have 1,500 hours. But I feel like Mine's League, if I actually knew... It, it's probably... It's got to be more. Just, or similar. No, the, there is a service that you can look and see how much time you spent like, and how what? much money you've spent. And you I don't, don't want to see that one. It. No, I don't, don't want to do see that it, one. Dude. Yeah, I, I, I looked at it and I said, I don't know. I'm a skin whore and I don't know why. Uh, you got to have one for I all spent, the good chance. I think I spent 700 is USD is what I had, which is oh, fucked up for a game. Dude, I, even Val I've spent a shit ton on. It creeps up on you, it man. Does. It does. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> but it is t over 10 years. Dude, I had a friend... For in uh elementary oh, no. no junior high like okay he might actually watch this so um <laughs> great guy like, so no yeah, yeah no awesome you know, dude, he, he's him. a friend uh but he has like video game addiction on like you know it's like video games are my job but i don't play them that much off stream anymore like i don't know it's like i i definitely you know i like playing games but this guy he came over to our house and he ended up he was supposed to be there one day he stayed for like four or five days because he started playing on my roommate's PC, and he just got, like, re-addicted, and he hadn't played in a while. Like, he made himself quit. And oh, he has, God. like, hardcore video game addiction. And it, in junior high, he spent, like, okay, I don't want to, you know, over-exaggerate or under... I think he spent, like, $4,000 on his mom's card on COD oh, skins. Like, oh, buying, like, mystery skins. packs. Yeah. And they, you can spend that much. She had to, like, go to... She, she tried to take them to court or something. <laughs> she had to like oh file God. some suit. I can't remember. Like something. Why did you get a charge? Back? Weird happened. She can't charge back. I don't totally remember. Maybe she just got a yeah. charge back. I don't know. It, it yeah. was a big deal, but he like did, doesn't like talking about it. <laughs> I don't think. I get it. You, you don't think? Yeah, he's too yeah. proud um, about. He's gonna spending four grand. Text me like, dude, I lost two hundred dollars. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's like <laughs> yeah, a ridiculous I spent amount. Forty. <laughs> like yeah. it was nothing. Uh, I had uh, Ashron's call hooked up to my mom's credit card for like years oh, and then dude, never lucky. told her i stopped playing it oh, and she's yeah. like by the way like <laughs> it's now like the year 2004 and uh are you still <laughs> playing this asheron's call game because i've been paying 15 dollars a month for like mm. <laughs> since 1999 or whatever that game came oh out oh my god yeah um, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I it, never got my parents' card for anything like that. That was the only yeah, thing I know. she Mom ever gave I was paranoid about that. I remember for RuneScape, I had to use Western Union. I had to wire money to Jagex. Like, fuck. Dude, oh, dude, like, for, for League of Legends, you know what I'd use for yeah. RP? You can use Subway oh. gift cards. And there's a Subway <laughs> so, in my yeah, town. I've heard of that, so, yeah. yeah, I would use Subway gift cards for I, I RP. Mean, I Wait, when I was playing League, I had a credit card, so it wasn't too bad. You but. could give them a Subway gift card and they would give you RP? Yeah. Yeah, and what? it wasn't a good exchange. I don't think it was that great of an exchange rate, too. Yeah. It like oh, it wasn't a one-to-one? -one? Like, no, 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 no. I thought it was, like, maybe a little less than one-to-one. -one. Like, Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't horrible. They charged you something, yeah. right? It's a fucking well, subway card. I don't know what No, dude, honestly, I don't know if they even did, like... I think they love Subway over there or something. <laughs> yeah, they they, they, they just some give it to their employees. Desire for Subway <laughs> gift cards. It's, I think it must be because who they're owned by or something or some it's, order. Do they still do it? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't bought RP in forever. It got, it got bought by Tencent. So I, imagine, oh. I, don't give, I don't think Chinese people give a shit about Subway. <laughs> they honestly might. I think it might. Yeah. It's, you know. do, do they have sub sandwiches over there? I don't. Well, like, didn't China like save KFC basically? 
Or is this <laughs> some they? like racist shit someone told me? <laughs> How's that racist? I don't know. Someone that many just, people like, someone just need to sell me. chicken. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, the stereotype Asian people <laughs> love their fried chicken. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, what was I just about to Google? What? No, before the, oh, Subway. I, <laughs> it would be different if you said they opened one up in Africa. Or <laughs> yeah, something. I know. That's the. <laughs> I don't know. I, Brian I says that. the quiet yeah. part out loud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm drank too much, dude. It was oh. not even necessarily being like coy, and you're just still like. Dude, I don't care. Fried chicken's awesome yeah. everywhere. Okay, yeah, who gives a shit? Fried chicken's good. Right? I yeah, had fried chicken for dinner. I had it today. Yeah. yeah nobody dude, loves fried badass. chicken more than me. I love that shit. Mm. <laughs> well, okay, Probably the Colonel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he even probably. liked it. I think he made it begrudgingly. He's like, this is, I, I saw like a little documentary about him. He's like, the only thing I'm good at is making this goddamn chicken. <laughs> like he tried doing other things and he couldn't get anything else going because he was just. He oh, tried frying. He tried frying fucking steaks. No, it was right. non cooking stuff. He was like, he tried to do like other type <laughs> businesses and and everybody was like, you're too fucking stupid. Get out of here. <laughs> what did he try to make? I don't know. Fucking... He tried to like make car parts or something. I don't know. <laughs> he, tried to make he was trying to be like an entrepreneur, and then he's like, "People just like it when I make this damn chicken." And so he made it. Yeah, he already made like dude. a gazillion dollars off it. Like, why the fuck would he need more? There's, there's more subways. No, than no, this McDonald's was before he world. opened KFC. Wait, oh, okay. There's okay, more okay. subways than McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's is on a downtrend, man. We're yeah. watching, Wait, the, we're watching subway, the fall dude, of the I know, king. Like, I, I swear, Subway is like actually it's like still a no, like it's one of the biggest fast food brands. Really? It's huge, yeah. What's the biggest? I don't know why. I think it's like normally between like, that I thought and like it was Starbucks McDonald's. and McDonald's. Oh. oh, Starbucks has got a shitload too, yeah. It's like checkers. McDonald's is, I think, <laughs> normally like, I think it makes the most money. Rallies? Wait, Starbucks does? <laughs> no, McDonald's, oh, but yeah. I don't. McDonald's has just got, it's got McDonald's something McDonald's shit probably costs like five cents to make. And yeah, exactly. It does have stuff. And I, I'm loving it when I... I actually do not I like am. I do not like McDonald's. I only like the snack wrap, and they got rid of that. I so. only like their chicken menu. I their burgers are fucking dog shit. Dude, I can I, I don't know who eats a burger sucks. from there. Sam's over there <laughs> uh, sitting fucking quiet and fat. You probably love McDonald's. Dude. Why are you so quiet yeah. about this? I I because I don't have a dog in this fight. I haven't eaten oh, McDonald's in like seven years. Probably. Okay. okay. I love yeah. chick McChickens are great. You know, and I've never had a McChicken. Chicken nuggets like are okay. Yeah. All right. The only thing I ate there was, I actually, I think the last time I had McDonald's was at the release of like Black Ops 2. I went and got, holy shit, really? I went and got like a, I mean, you got, you have a lot of nice, like over the US, they have so many places to eat. Like if I had, if I was surrounded by shit like you, I probably wouldn't even eat McDonald's. Why go to McDonald's when there's Whataburger? We got like nothing here. Exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't even, you wouldn't catch me. In and out. Near one. Yeah. (laughs) So the, uh. No, I, I got I, this. Used to be my tradition. I would go to like a midnight release. Hi, and I would. Uh, hi, poop. Hi. <laughs> what? And, uh, I don't know. I just realized I could wave. I could put my oh. hand in front of the camera. You hi, over there. That out. Oh, uh, man. No, I, I used to go to. Uh, I used to go to McDonald's, and I would be like, "Give me wh- however many cheeseburgers I can buy with twenty dollars," and they would give oh, me God. shit. That's like twenty cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so many. And That's they would so give me, they would give me just a big ass paper bag full of cheeseburgers, and then I would go home. Would you give them out? No, I'd go home and just fucking <laughs> eat them one by fun, one while, while I was oh, eating. Jesus Christ. Christ. What yeah, the hell? while I was playing. You probably looked like fucking game. dream as a kid. What the <laughs> hell is wrong oh, with yeah. you? No, this Holy was actually shit. at my thinnest. I think this was just like you know middle <laughs> was school, a high boy. school. Yeah. And um, no, I I remember there was there was one midnight release for some game where everybody said they were gonna go to it and get the goddamn game. Yeah, it was caught. I think you said it was, it was COD Black Ops. Yeah, something like one, that. Right? Maybe I so went you out. Eat twenty burgers all by yourself. <laughs> yeah. I went. Everyone was like, "Yeah, dude. I mean, you grab midnight release and I'll be on." And then and you, that was you, you that was our tradition. Held on to this anger for a long time. I went out. I got t- it. I got the it fuck. Like at least once. A I month. do. I mention it all the time. <laughs> Pisses me off, dude. I came home. <laughs> And the, nobody was on my <laughs> Xbox. I opened up my Xbox like, 360 you, menu, empty. My homies were not on. You never said you never said it, but I bet you you cried. 
You fucking cried. There was a tear in your face when uh, you were like, you cute up by yourself. I, uh, but I pulled it back up and I shoved it back <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, you sucked uh, it back up. Yeah, I sobbed a little while <laughs> I was eating my cheeseburgers, all right? <laughs> yeah, while you're while eating your, your 20 cheeseburgers. cheeseburgers. Well, yeah, 20 no cheeseburgers in my, in my game rocker uh, chair. You remember those? <laughs> that, this yeah, little, uh, yeah. Yeah. Your, your mom just heard you sobbing and unwrapping oh, the fucking cheeseburger. I have a little cheeseburger. speaker on the side. No speaker, but I had a little remote control, like a little pocket on the side. Oh, that's guess, cool. They that got that's filled dope. up with like chip dust and shit real quick. <laughs> and other cheese. Mine, mine is maybe the worst speaker in the world on it. <laughs> Or like plug in, it was so <laughs> fucking stupid. Those you're talking about the little curved little banana chairs, right? They hurt your yeah. back so bad. Oh, like, dude, there is like, like a specific age, and it's like nine to shit. like eleven. Those are the ages of kids that can sit in those comfortably. That's why. Well, that's why my back's so fucked. Because my mom's had one of those, and at my dad's, I played in a bean chair, <laughs> yeah, or a bean bag bean chair bag, on yeah. the ground. I dude, and, I love. You know, bean bags are awesome in principle, well, but they do not. No, they, you know, am they I, fail the practical. My dad's like that bean bag chair. I had a shitty little box TV like in my closet, and I just found the bean bag chair in front of it. That fucking apartment. Everyone talks about this time, and like our life is like this grim thing. Like oh, when we had to live in those shitty apartments and like move out of the house. <laughs> I had a fucking blast there because I got my own room. It's like a shoebox, but like I just played COD every. I don't think I talked to my family for like a year, and I just go over there because my mom's I didn't have Xbox Live, so every time I was there, it's like sit on this beanbag for like ten hours, it's just play COD. I that is, I looked back on those days so fondly. And everyone's always like, oh, those fucking apartments. I'm like, you don't know how good it was there. Dude, very <laughs> yeah. similar. My parents got divorced, and it was like my dad's like worst part of his life, probably. He had to, he had to move best. out, and he got this like little house. It was in the, the middle of the 2008 financial crisis. Oh, so yeah. like, he bought this house at <laughs> oh, an man. extremely high interest rate, and it was like an oh. extremely inflated price or some shit. And... Um, it was like the worst of both worlds. No, he bought it right before it crashed is what it was. And then it took like a uh, decade for it to build back. But damn. Um, anyway, so yeah, he got fucked over. And I remember... But I got to play COD. <laughs> yeah, my mom kicked me out. And so I ended up living with him for the summer. <laughs> and I would just sit there on his little shitty bachelor guy couch. And I would move the couch to like three feet away from the TV. And I would sit there and play Rainbow Six Vegas... Two, I think. Oh, is the that game. was a good that game. game rock. Yeah, that game was a good rock. game. Yeah, I love Tom Clancy games. Everybody and sits there and makes fun of like Siege, and they're like, yeah. it's gotten so ridiculous. There's like clowns and stuff, and it's like now it's like all oh. oh, these There's weird clowns? like superpowers, and it's too cartoony. I remember Vegas too. Everybody would have different color like pauldrons and like knee pads and. Because you weren't customized. You had, customizer, like, yeah. camera, you had like a crazy. There was not abilities, yeah. but. You could get your Connect camera and scan your face and put oh, it okay. on your character. I didn't and so know that. People yeah. would get Halloween Wait, masks and like put it on there, and then they would do the face scan. Or Brian did this Gengar coffee cup or whatever. Yeah, my mug. And so yeah, his character just had Gengar on there. Some people, would, I've seen somebody use like an actual just baby, like yeah. fucking just weird shit like that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't yeah. know. Oh yeah, I got. I didn't. I never had a Connect on 360. I didn't. Even. It didn't I have forgot. to be a connect. It could have been the X. They they had the Xbox Live camera that came with Uno. Mm -hmm. They could oh. also use. Yeah. 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 Did uh, Rainbow Six rock? Did you guys ever play the old uh, Ghost Recons too? There's yeah, a shit ton of those, it. and the the like mode where you just it's have to kill like a hundred enemies, and like little cartel people inside. It was those games fucking rocked. Yeah, Six had that too. Tom Clancy. And, he always had a problem with those cartel people. And the, the, the missions you play with like little squads, they were sweet. I swear sweet. to God. Yeah. yeah. He had a he real vendetta him. against South America, dude. Yeah. Well, I just watched, uh, what, Sicario recently or whatever, so I do too. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, right. they're bad guys over there. Dude, dude I honestly, like what they're doing down there. I, I watched Sicario <laughs> like three times, and then I read the news that Trump wanted to build a border wall, and I was like, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I ought to yeah. He probably watched Sicario. Uh, right yeah, he, he, yeah, me and him were it's on like the same viewing, there. and we were Holy like, God yeah. damn, dude, they got tunnels and shit? We need to build a fucking wall. We, we need a wall that goes underground. Yeah, we need <laughs> a wall. Shit. They have tunnels? Let's go yeah. up and build, build yeah. a wall over them. Yeah. A really yeah. heavy one. I don't no, know. We, don't, we need a moat. We don't need a wall. We need a moat. Yeah. 
Oh, that's <laughs> horrible. Oh, uh, if Trump built a giant boat and a with like sharks in it, that'd be pretty badass. Yeah, man. yeah, that would be badass. That would <laughs> yeah, be, that'd be so insane. It costs you, less. Honest, too, I think. There would honestly be people that are like, "Fuck yeah!" Like we got the <laughs> yeah, with the sharks. Yeah. There be people yeah. out there like that's his greatest achievement. <laughs> Holy shit! He got the <laughs> shark moat going around it. The Great Bowl of America. <laughs> <laughs> All sharks swim away into the ocean. Fuck. Uh, Great Barrier of America. <laughs> uh, how'd they make the Great the Wall so long ago? We can't make another Great Wall. Yeah, what the yeah, we'll come, yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, you start diving into like Chinese history, and there was just so much wild it's pretty shit. Pretty extensive. That we, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're just like, like we sit there and talk about like, you know, like the Battle of Agincourt, like a huge ramifications for Western civilization. Meanwhile, like China just has like a weird civil war. 20 million people die. Like, yeah. God. like they never mention it in school ever, you know, like there's just What's, like insane totally battles right. after yeah. insane battles. That, yeah. And they just go, yeah, Chinese people are making uh, pottery and yeah. you know, gunpowder. Gun, they, like, but they love fireworks, fireworks. over there. Yeah. In and school, then, they might teach you like for a week. They're like, now we're going to cover all, <laughs> all of Chinese history. Yeah. yeah, we've added two semesters yeah. of American years <laughs> Chinese history. I think it's just because they have no idea what the hell's going on. There's like so much. I, it's like such a huge can of worms. You just go like, they got yeah. a big ass wall over there. Yeah, they had a wall. That is like totally, totally foreign. They 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 bring that up in uh, Kunk on Earth at one point too. That she makes a funny joke about like. And at the same time, like, there was actually also history <laughs> happening in China. And it's been going on so fucking long. It's so... Yeah. It's, a lot of it's really badass, too. I wish... And it's well recorded. They taught it more, yeah. It has, like, pretty yeah. good... Like, not That's, Iceland yeah. levels, but pretty good. Iceland <laughs> levels? What do they have, like, some book or something? If you if you're an indigenous Icelander, they can track your lineage all the way back to the original people oh. that inhabited the island. That's and cool. Then, and then that goes uh, back to like the Norwegian people that left to go inhabit the island. So they can hmm. like if you were born in Iceland and your family's from Iceland, you it's immediately you're born with a family tree that's completed that goes back like twelve hundred years or something. What like saved history do they have where we know more? Is it just like they just pass it down? They just ride what? it, and they've had no conflict. Oh. Like nobody's invading oh. from France into Iceland. Oh, that's true. <laughs> like once they're there, they're sucks. there. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh. Unless you're going for I hot springs. It over. That's where I'd go in if I was in Last of Us. I'm watching that show right now. I'd go to Greenland. Just watching it. No, I thought you said you, oh, yeah. you stopped watching after the gay episode. <laughs> yeah. said, I could, All right, God damn well. it, not Ron Swanson. By the way. <laughs> Nick Offerman, is it Nick Offerman? Is that his name? Yeah. I am yeah, pretty him. sure he does voice work on that Atomic Heart video game. Oh, really? I does am he? pretty sure. There is a guy like... Whoa, how do you know that, dude? The game's not even... Oh, my God, how do you fucking know that? I'm kind how of... Do you know well, that? Kind of a big deal on the internet, and they gave me a key. Oh. Yeah. Are you allowed to talk about that? What, Can they I gave a me key? a key? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. They emailed me a key. As of this morning at 8 a.m., there's no NDA, so I can tell you whatever oh, you okay. want. Okay, yeah, I didn't know. I, that's what I was wondering if the NDA yeah. was up. It's, um, it's like Bioshock, but like Soviet. Are you allowed to say your honest opinions? I'm not, yeah. I'm not quite far enough in it to give it a good opinion, but just like the walking around looking at the world and, you know, like the amount of work that they've done and like. You said it was Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, it's like Bioshock Infinite, but like Kami. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Mm. Yuck. And you said it right. fucking sucked and the graphics were bad, they right? You can't even, like, no, fuck it, the robots. You, you can't, can't fuck like, yeah. the, robot. the robots. No, it is actually really beautiful. It's a it's beautiful Ooh. game. You probably uh, can't fuck even the fuck robots. the robots. You know, so I would give either. it a pretty high rating, but no field of view Russia. slider. Ooh, that, Ooh, kind of that a deal does breaker. suck. That yeah. does suck. Kind of What's a, the field of view? It's That's like 70. Metro 2033. No, don't say that, dude. You fucked that game for me. It's. You Looking through coffee that. straws, yeah, you dude. Said that and it fucked me off. I couldn't. I couldn't yeah. keep playing it. Really, well, coffee straw looks like that. Uh, you're looking through a uh, 1970 <laughs> he scuba ass, helmet, dude. He got yeah, your ass. Yeah. Um. Mm. Uh, you guys oh, watch that, that new <laughs> freaking show? Uh, that new freaking show. Tell me about it. Last of Us again? No, The Last like, of Us. No, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a single episode. Oh, why not? 
because I haven't played the game. I ain't got much time for uh, for uh, watching. Dude, you uh, you you would uh, fucking it's it's. I mean, is this a, a zombie reason movie? People are I don't give a shit about zombies. This is a zombie movie. You no, know? it's a TV show, and it's, <laughs> not, it's more about like the people. You know, like it's uh, okay. it's it's fucking good. I'm I'm gonna now say that I'm a fan of the show and try the game out, but uh, I hope they don't change too much. It's uh it's it honestly fucking rocks though. It's Pedro Pascal is so goddamn good. He's in everything. Now. Wait, uh, yeah, and he plays the guy, right? Joel. Okay. Yeah, so I haven't played like, the this game. This is like the first actual. game. This is the yeah, first yeah, game. It's, then. Yeah, it's first game. Okay. Isn't there it's some a, other actor that they were like, this guy should play Joel because he looks exactly like him? I don't know. A lot of people are mad about the girl casting, but she. What's wrong with really, Because she she's doing a really good job. It feels like people, people are people like she's not hot enough. Is, uh, yeah, they're like, I can't fuck this. It's one. like a thirteen-year-old, like which That's is hard. Well, they couldn't fuck the other one if she was. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. They don't know. They don't care about that. Weird. That those are the same people as the ones that stopped watching after the third episode. Yeah, but they, people are weird about child good. actor actresses I've, in general. I've cried twice. Cried what? twice during the really? show. You cried. Yeah. You're a baby. I heard there was people that were crying during emotional. that Nick Offerman episode. They said he gives a That's tremendous one of them. performance. That's one. Dude, of them. Someone. Yeah. I saw a post where someone was saying I was able to break through to my conservative mother. Oh. And uh, and, sure. and get that's her to sweet, acknowledge dude. that gay people actually do have like that's why lives representation and matters in yeah. media uh, by showing yeah, yeah they're like actually like people. Yeah, well, I didn't. Well, I looked at the argument that like <laughs> representation matters, and I thought like surely you don't need to see representation to believe that they're like human beings. But apparently, there are people that are that <laughs> dumb. I guess so never do. mind. I well, stand corrected. Like, yeah. yeah. Give them this story that you can relate to, and you're like, "Wait, they, I can like Wait. empathize." <laughs> they yeah. also uh, experience like a first person empathize. set of emotions, like me. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. The yeah. Robots that fuck their each thoughts other. are as complex as my thoughts. <laughs> uh, it's a goddamn. You should. You honestly should watch it. It's pretty good. No, they're, they're, I'm adding it to my list. Few qualms so with that yeah. one. What about that Game and of Thrones it show? Is it like is House it Netflix? Dragon? What is it? Yeah, dude, I wanted to see that too. Yeah. No, it's uh, Last of Us. Okay. HBO's been Pretty on a decent. goddamn hot streak, dude. The uh, they're always on a hot streak, dude. Yeah, well, uh, season two and three of True Detective. Okay, I mean, uh, <laughs> three I actually like, but they're not as good as season one. Uh, season it, two is the one with Colin Farrell, right? Yeah, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, yeah, but I mean, there's some badass scenes with Colin Farrell where he like beats uh, up his kids' bullies, dad. That's they, super badass. Last of Us uh, is on there though, Brian, and they did the uh, White Lotus actually fucking rocks too. That's like a newer. It's on season two now. I did watch Game of Thrones. It was pretty. Oh, decent. House of the Dragon. It's yeah, it was, it was yeah. good. I so far have had more like issues with shit in that show, but I I think it's really good. I'm excited for the second season. We've oh, been getting yeah, fed, Barry? dude. Yeah, Barry, great show. Hey, Succession like, well, actually rocks too. Yeah, you might, you would, you'd probably like Succession, Sam. Like very. How much is HBO Max? It's like a uh, total business show, but done very fun, and it's like a dark uh, comedy. I'm, or not, I'm a business guy. Yeah, it's actually you are you're quite the businessman. It's business, very popular yeah. for a reason, and it's very. You said irritated. all your subscribers are just numbers. Yeah, that's no, I, I look at look when I look at number. the subscriber, the fan base. I I'm like Neo, and I just see oh. numbers Friend. spilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spilling, uh, you can touch them through their computer. I can you touch them through the code the of the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. And pull out a neem slouch yep. shape. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can shape some of I these numbers. If I connect numbers. enough to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I can. Into the perfect uh, uh, ply craft uh, chair. I'm going to get that three. fucker one day, dude. It's going to happen. Just yeah. I mean, you can just get fucking it buy one with. now, dude. You rich bastard, dude. Just, I know. Just they're on buy Facebook. Just they're in cares. antique stores and stuff. They're I have not seen a single one that I'd be willing to purchase. It, just buy one from Mr. Eames himself. There's one in an antique store by me, but it's like. Forty-five hundred dollars. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot of money, dude. Wow, for yeah. a whole chair. I sit there and look at it and go, chair that? or like, you know, what bills? House <laughs> yeah. payment. Oh, boy. Yeah, like, it does sound more fun out of those two. Come on, bills, uh, bills. Or... YouTube's gonna last forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Fuck, you just have to. Dude, adapt. you want okay? You, you want to bring down the mood with a couple of YouTubers? Just go like, what about the? What are you gonna do ten years from now? 
and they just go like, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. Daily uploads. Yeah. I think about tomorrow. I think about next month. I don't think about fucking 10 years. Well, I mean, you, you've you been at it for 10 yeah. years. You know, you just got to adapt, dude. You just got to You like, think I got another 10 in me? The what? <laughs> Maybe. You look like know. a guy with 10 more. I don't know, man. Yeah, I've seen it. some like 40 year olds, 50 year olds oh. fucking doing YouTube dude. somehow. You know, God bless them. Oh him. my God. You know? Yeah. You're lucky being old, dude. What am I going to do? I got a lot of life left. <laughs> yeah, oh. you got to deal with like competing yeah, with like funny I, robots and shit. Fuck. They're going to be made. Yeah. They're so much funnier than me. <laughs> It's not fair. Oh, they God. listen. They listen to my stand up yeah. for fucking twelve minutes, and they're able to replicate something, <laughs> yeah, but improve upon it. I just yeah. Based it off constantly. old stock footage of Cosby in his prime. Oh, oh my God, fuck. George Lopez, Fluffy, <laughs> yeah, Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy. Bot. Yeah. Oh my ass. God, no. he's coming back oh in a big Lord, way. Man. Fluffy he, too. He, he, Fluffy to the fat robot edition <laughs> of the future. Yeah, big fat robot. It farts too. It farts and burps. <laughs> big fat monster. He wears those big fucking New Balances with his ankles spilling over. <laughs> I used to watch the fuck out of him on like cable TV. Or, uh, not cable TV. I've never seen him. You've never seen him. <laughs> he used to be on I've Comedy Clint, Central a lot cool. in his prime. Yeah. Yeah. He's I think funny. Fluffy's on Netflix. Oh my god. I couldn't watch him now. When I was a little kid, <laughs> yeah. I thought he was funny. I think I fucking hate it now. I haven't actually I've I've been I haven't watched a lot of stand up comedy in a while really. I don't really I kinda of don't like watching I rewatched the old Dave Chappelle shit. Yeah, I, I like I Dave Chappelle. Like no, if the I hear... Chappelle show, but I don't like a lot of just pure stand up. Yeah. You gotta hit like I used to like Louis C.K. My too, dad and loves then, you know. my dad just constantly watches like stand up specials. Which if I feel bad because he wants good, me to watch a lot of them good, and, and they hurt oh, yeah. These are normally pretty good, well, then but yeah, you close the, out of it. You just don't watch the rest. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Those old Chappelle ones though, for what it's worth, and, and the other one they're from good. 2007. Yeah, they were they still so, they're yeah, so fucking good. Those are some of the best yeah. stand up specials I've ever heard. Chris Rock. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Uh, what is that? Eddie, the the famous Eddie Murphy one with the red suit. Yeah, he was it's like called twenty red suit three. Eddie. Yeah, was he? he was like twenty fucking three, <laughs> dude. And I watch that shit and go like, where the hell is? Where was my confidence at that age? Like, he just uh, owned that shit. It's a uh, legendary it's stand up. Yeah. He was so young. He's a goofy guy. He's a goofy man. Yeah. And then you start learning Hold about, it. like, the ages of other people when they were doing really significant things. And you go, like... Yeah, the but then you see those people that didn't do anything significant until they're, like, 50. And you're like, oh, it goes both yeah, ways. Yeah, so yeah, hope yeah, again. Who cares? Yeah. yeah, it could be a late bloomer. So you, yeah. Yeah. You're not, but someone no. could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's possible. I could, you know? <laughs> I think, like, Dangerfield didn't get big until he was, that like, 40. Was a million. Yeah. yeah, the Beatles didn't yeah, start playing just, like, together until they were like eighty. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Ugh. You know, Rolling Stones didn't get good until two thousand fucking ten. You know, you know Chris oh. Angel started when he was ten years old. <laughs> oh, Guns N' Roses, that's the one. <laughs> Crazy Angel. You know what? Chris Those, Angel. <laughs> Chris Angel started levitating people at ten years old. <laughs> He's actually magic, dude. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I watched a lot of that when I was a little kid. It's quite convincing. I saw like a man crawl cut in half on the ground. I dude, I honestly, I feel like the only people that watched Christian were like, yeah, twelve. <laughs> yeah, I swear and, to God, I can't well, imagine. I'm pretty sure my uncle was watching it with us, but <laughs> he just like amazed. I was, I was uh, looking at like a chart of like wealthiest <laughs> celebrities, and David Copperfield was on there at like a oh, billion dollars. Dude, he probably does David a ton of those like casino shows and stuff. I thought he like, only did like just the big spectacle ones where he's like, I'm going to make the Statue of Liberty disappear. I don't know. <clears throat> Isn't that how you said whatever his face? Yeah, like it Carrot literally top is a billion. Holy Carrot shit. Top made so much money is because like casino. Yeah, stuff. he just has like a recurring Bellagio yeah, contract or something. They gave him his own gym or some shit you yeah. said, or he like it's in next to a gym. Yeah, we I basically regurgitate what happens on better podcasts here. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is I'm, 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 well, this my about I just Googled <laughs> David Copperfield net worth how. Yeah, one billion. How? Yeah. Yeah, how? Yeah, how? Yeah. How, how do you make that, that money? Because yeah, I'm like... Oh, yeah, yeah. How, you make a couple of yachts yeah, disappear, all of a yeah, sudden you no, have a billion look, dollars. Look, boom. How, an estimated... Wait. 
Okay, well, never mind. 13 year stint in Las Vegas. Ooh, world Tours. 13 years, damn. Yeah, World Tours. Dude, 20 Twitch television Twitch. specials. TwitchCon's in fucking Las Vegas. Let's go to TwitchCon, make a fucking, oh. like, a viewer disappear. It also, you know, make, here's, collect a here's billion where dollars. The, the secret comes in. And a oh, real estate portfolio com comprised of oh, multi million dollar mind. trophy properties. Mm. Never mind. He's got some. He just, it's investments. The magic is in his understanding, understanding of markets. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah That's a real pretty, illusion. Yeah. Pretty talented the guy. The magic is location, location, location. Fuck. He I want the properties. I don't want the his, magic. I want that. His black hair go. Because how old is this guy? He dies it. I know. Oh, so you got the Wayne Newton, just like yeah. unnaturally jet he? black hair. Yeah, he's 66. Yeah. Let me show you. Looks like fucking Creed when he like uses <laughs> yeah. printer ink for his hair or some shit. I mean, damn, this, I'm not quite sure what is going on with this guy. I can't, he's 66, but none of these he looks 66. But he, he definitely looks like an old, he's got some work done. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's like... 60. Wow. I like middle manager hair. Chris Angel is 55. What Holy the shit. But the front of his hair is all of a sudden a little bit brown. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is Never mind. weird. I just want to say something really dumb. <laughs> what? what are you going to say? Nothing. What was it? Nothing. He didn't actually make the Statue no. of Liberty disappear. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> it was, it's still there. That's how he made like his that. billions. He's all the copper he scrapped from making the Statue of Liberty disappear. <laughs> Estimated to be six hundred million dollars in, Is he in, in a copper. Field of copper. Yeah, and then he does that. I think there was a big yacht that he made disappear or something. Uh, he just steals. That's yeah, he what just he steals does. really expensive yeah. shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> empty out Fort Knox for my uh, next yeah, trick. Yeah. What's, okay. Whoa, they Walks they in with a Tommy gun, gone. starts <laughs> laying up. It's not really a trick. I'm just kind of getting it, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go <laughs> back and ask my stupid question. Why is there so much like David Copperfield shit where he looks like he's in the 1800s on Google Images, like, <laughs> like movies about is him it? and shows and stuff, like. Was, were, is there another famous David Copperfield before this that I'm? There is a fa there is a famous Copperfield. D David yeah. Copperfield, a novel by Charles Dickens. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh so okay. Well, that's why it yeah. says David Copperfield in parentheses illusionist to uh, differentiate. Yeah. yeah Weird. He, he does have some crazy hair. Uh, Weird. Did you guys ever imagine. have like? Dreams as a kid of flying. Yeah, we just started two totally You've different dreams. No, but wait, yes. maybe like yeah, once or twice. I've, but I, that's, that's such yeah, a I've common one. one. That's I a think. dream I wish I could have all the time. That sounds. Yeah, I, can't, I, I don't have any. I remember mine was always like I would just raise up my arms, and as I would raise them, I would just I would levitate, and it was oh. always like I'd pissed off my neighbor, and then I would just get. <laughs> He'd fly. I away. would get out. <laughs> Of striking, <laughs> dude, you were you're like a born menace. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I would mean, just levitate above him and be like, "Fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> fuck you, dipshit." What kind of shit? What kind of shit would you do? Would you like? Would you shit on his lawn and then fly away? I would like, always just dip? piss him off doing something. Like these kids oh, were like God. four or five years older <laughs> than me. They your... fucking hated me, dude. Oh, my God. That was your biggest dream. <laughs> yeah. fuck it. I would piss him off and then be able to get away from my any sort of repercussions by yeah. levitating. Oh my God. Why would, like Peter Pan? Like a little fairy away from them. <laughs> And it That's wasn't even sweet. fast. It was very much like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when they drink that oh, Sodi Pop and it makes them yeah. like yeah. float up. It was just very slow like that. It wasn't like Whoa, cool Superman I'm, I'm less jealous than when you started <laughs> because I yeah. think that you were like flying through the sky like an eagle no, or something. Like, you, I never got any away. like... <laughs> It was it was basically the least like if you were to pick a superpower you're you, floating yeah floating you get away from punching distance yes. that's literally it you just, yeah it was more like I was in space like I would kick off the ground or something and kind of go up and then stop a little bit oh my god yeah but like now that I'm like thinking of it if I was to pick a superpower mm. and I was like I want the power of flight and they gave me that I would be pissed no. off I'd be like I, I can't well, get to work any fly. quicker I can't go do I, things at greater speeds. Well, what would you want? What superpower would I, you want? Well, Invisibility. If I if I ask for flying from a genie, I better be able to do some Goku specifying. shit. Specifying. Yeah, I want to be able to have like like aviator be goggles specific on. Specific with a genie. Paul ass. Yeah, you need it. I've seen like, speeds and I've shit. Seen that X Files episode? I know exactly what you're talking what? about. There's the episode with the genie, 
and people. There's genies in X Files. Oh, I, I was talking about uh, fairly the odd fuck? parents. They find her wrapped up in a carpet in a storage unit, and uh, I thought she, she does was about aliens. Well, it's about the supernatural, and this was the mm. uh, genies are supernatural. Oh. Yeah. And they, they okay. ask for, like, certain things, and then she gives them, of course, like, a tainted gift. Like, it's it's cursed in some way. And at the end, uh, Mulder, his one, like, his last <laughs> wish for her is he gives it to her, and it's, like, a typed-up sheet of paper that says, like, you will cease being a gypsy. That means you will not be able to grant wishes anymore. You will return to being a normal person. You won't have any supernatural abilities. Like it was just like, yeah. like a chat GPT like make sure to cause like super every, specific. Super specific. Yeah. yeah. That's what they always get you. That's yep. you know And then right at the end. They're very literal creatures. Like, yeah, they are. I, I think about a lot like when, when I was a kid and I guess still, you know, like if you watch something like a monkey's paw. Right? Yeah, kinda. Uh no. well, not really, but uh What's the difference between a monkey paw and a genie? Then? Uh, genies, um, uh, they're like float around like Kazam, <laughs> and monkey paws will hand. And they do this. <laughs> yeah, it's a and little a finger curls. curls. Yeah, and I feel like monkey paws are like more inherently evil, You're and it's like more, it's bad. more like a punishment off your desire, like type shit. I don't know, but I think a lot about like when I see uh, super superpower worlds. If I didn't have a superpower and there were superheroes out there, or if I got a really lame one, I'd kill myself. Because you've been I, watching My Hero too much. Dude. Well, dude, I mean, that is a, I haven't watched that in like a month or two. The boys, but, <laughs> that yeah, one lady like that, that just the can boy, like. Well, the uh, boys is a bad one, kind of, because you have to get like tortured as a kid a little or injected. Well, some of those that like shit. there's that one lady that's just like I can have little bone spikes or whatever. Oh, like yeah. there's just like lame people that I'm yeah. like, is that even worth anything? Well, dude, yeah, uh, no. I would be so jealous. I wouldn't be able to contain my jealousy. Yeah, from just like a little oh, X Men. You know? Imagine yeah. being a that's high school. Yeah, go to like. That's the, why they got fucking bullied. That's why they got called freaks. They had to get to. Well, imagine to being school, considered a freak and you have to pick up everything and go fly, to a though. different school. And you go to the school yeah. and you have the lamest superpowers oh, out of yeah. everybody yeah. there. Like yeah. they're not picking you for PE to be on <laughs> their guy dodgeball that can team. like spit acid or like <laughs> they're just a gross. Like, yeah. Oh, man, that would suck. <laughs> I could just yeah. fart on. Yeah, yeah, like you big, big turn into a big ball or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Blows, man. I would be so angry. I, like sky high. There's some like lame ass powers, and some people are, you know, they're just they're just lucky. Sky oh. high. Is that that? That's a fucking movie. That movie yeah. with I, Kurt I Russell. That movie. Yeah, Where that movie this? rocks. Yeah. yeah, that movie. That you should rewatch that with your kids sometime. That's a good family <laughs> movie. Kurt, Kurt Russell's a superhero, it. and his kid is like it's basically that that show Invincible. <laughs> and it show Invincible. I don't know if I've seen that. Oh wait, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's basically but, Invincible. But he, Kurt Russell is an evil. Yeah. Well, there. Uh, what's the name of the movie again? Uh, Sky, Sky High. High. Sky High Sky 2 High. has not come out yet. Where oh, it turns true. out that I'd he's like that to... Viltrumite yeah, or whatever. Like, you ever seen Community? Maybe not. I yeah, I've, like seen, haven't I've seen clips bits. of it. Yeah. Uh, the Dean in that. He's like the little henchman in that movie. And he used to crack me up when I was a kid. Like he's always going like, Ehh! he pesters the main <laughs> villain and they're always choking him. It's it's hilarious. It's great stuff. But uh, yeah, show your kids that movie. And uh Stop showing them like Silence of the Lambs or whatever you're feeding them. And, Show yeah. them a good family movie, a good moral shit. lesson. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog. It's like yeah. warping my kids. She started having nightmares. Damn. Yeah, did, aren't you say she's like super paranoid and you're showing her that fucking yeah, show? Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, dude. It, that, it's full of monsters and shit. That shit is actually scary. That stupid dude. like no. cats, the, the red cat guy where they go to a cat's motel. And he, he like releases spiders to like attack Muriel and Courage. That scene, uh, they make it so intense when the spider's crawling towards like courage, uh, and he keeps screaming, and the spider's crawling like this, like yeah, falling yeah, ass, and like my kid's just like, oh, like her eyes get like <laughs> the size of saucers, dude, huge. That's yeah. when you have to tell him like that's what happens when you don't eat your <laughs> yeah. vegetables. Like that's when making a worse, yeah. 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 not yeah. eat his veggies. Yeah. That show was <laughs> fucking freaky, dude. Like watching that alone. It was. I was, it was scared of Oblivion Caves, so I was like, you know, the show was a lot going on. Because they would like and, randomly just show like hyper, like not realistic, but like weird ass yeah, like art styles things. for like the screen, yeah. the, the horrors. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna look at it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. guy. And he's like, he's like CG. 
Like, you know, yeah, it's so it's fucking creepy. That that show rocks though. In terms it does of rock. Just, like, yeah, there's like weird Creativity perspectives and, they do. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like That's how super cool. Everything in it's oh. like oddly shaped there's not a single door that's square it's all like oh. all the doors are like willy wonka style it's like codename kid next door i feel like everything's all fucked up oh yeah well they have that base. two by four technology that's why <laughs> yeah it's a different that show rock too it, it, building Grim adventures of billy and mandy there's a lot of good shows around that time period you know what's weird is at the time i didn't care for them because i was kind of like growing out of cartoons oh yeah and they were coming out, i was like yeah. i don't like this new wave but then yeah. the newer miss, wave came out, well, and I realized how good those were in comparison. Yeah. You oh, missed fuck fuck Looney Tunes and Mickey Mouse or whatever you used to watch back in the fucking yeah. day. Uh, no, I, old, I old remember. Willie. I remember being on the fence about Ed, Ed and Eddie when it came out. Like it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? It came out. How old were you when that came out? Uh, I remember when Cartoon Network came out. Damn, we're old. And like know. watching that yeah, for the first shit, time. That was dude. in like mid '90s. Ted Turner. Oh, thanks for, uh, dude. Did he die? Why did you do that? Because he saved he me dead? from watching goddamn PBS for my whole fucking oh, life. Yeah. That's why. Dude, yeah, fucking no, Cartoon, yeah, Cartoon Network fucking rock. Oh, was awesome. Some, yeah. I even, I love like, I mean, I feel like this is a hot take, but like Tom and Jerry and shit like that. I watched a lot of the, God, I watched when I was young, the fucking Looney Tune. Well, like babies would be on a lot. That show kind of blew. I kind of hated sucked. that one. That, yeah. It, it gave me a weird vibe. Like they're always with grandma, and it's like it's too soft. I needed that Looney Tunes a little bit of edge to it. Yeah, they and, they were uh, always like throwing animals yeah, at they each were, other. Yeah, they were doing oh, that other one, Animaniacs. Tricks. Remember that one? Yeah, we, yeah. I didn't watch a lot yeah, of Animaniacs cool. actually. I feel like that right. ended kind of before me. I'll watch? You guys ever watch Venture Bros? Late night. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had a lot watch of all, Adult Swim shows that I watched, shows that I watched yeah, back yeah. then too. Were... Yeah, Vin Metal Metalocalypse was really good. Yeah, yeah Squidbillies, yeah. <laughs> fucking Don't Aqua Team, the trio. Good yeah, yeah Squidbillies was what? legendary. Uh, yeah. I didn't like. I didn't watch downhill. it just straight up because they're all like rednecks. I didn't want to watch uh, that. Oh, you didn't. I, <laughs> that's literally. It was awesome because it was just like that's what's just north of me. It's like your neighbor. Exactly. You're like, oh, that's just north of me talking little squid people in there. Yeah. Disgusting. With their little vile. overalls and fucking trucker ass. The other grandma is so gross yeah. in that too. She's like uh, lifting up in her shirt and stuff. She's, it's a funny show. Uh, oblongs. Oblongs is good. I watch that show being funny. <laughs> We've gotten down to like lower than talking about movies or just now listing shows. TV shows. Just oh, shows. <laughs> shows are going like, that's a good one. That's a good oh, one. Yeah, what about that, that one? That's really a good one. I really yeah. hope people listening to this are like just, they're eager and they're like, yeah, that one too. That's a good one. Yeah. And they're like no, loving they're, it. They're at work no. looking for another podcast to listen <laughs> to. Off, they're man. going, what the fuck? I don't want to hear this goddamn trip down memory lane. <laughs> For a very <laughs> specific yeah, age of men. Fucking boomers <laughs> yeah. talking about fucking cartoon shows. Uh, fuck. Well, fuck you guys. All right, Ed and Eddie yeah. was that was a dream for me. I wanted to live that life. All right, I watched that. <laughs> you wanted you to like you wanted to life with yeah. friends. Is that what no, it was? Well, they, were, they, were always, uh, they were up to some shit. They were always, always scamming, but they lived in a cul-de-sac with a lot of kids oh, yeah. their age. It was a perfect environment. Cool. Yeah, I had a friend <laughs> that lived in a cul-de-sac, and I would always go visit him and. That's premium, like street hockey territory. Oh, dude, I would when love to in, in the middle, or like, oh. yeah. he would skate around his little little turnaround dude. area. Oh, that's sweet. Your big skate rink. Cold sacks are cool. Yeah. They are, man. Nice. Yeah. They're super safe. Blessed, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm except blessed. for like. Oh wait, no. I guess it wasn't a cold like Gro sack. Was... Grove Street from San Andreas. Yeah, yeah. Grove Street. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Not, not the cozy. safest cold sack. Everyone no, there. It's not. No. Yeah. Yeah, but they're family. Like, yeah. You know, there was still a, a lot, quite green. a bit of shootings that happened. I just wear green shooting. when I go through. I <laughs> wave it around. <laughs> We're cool. We're cool. Uh, <laughs> I just loop cons- around, do donuts. And fucking. Does that concern yeah. you at all? Like I, I'd never. Road even, Street. No, just like if it's if real. You, if you go to like a, you know, like L.A. or something like that, like thinking well, about well, wearing the right wearing colors. Blue. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, um, what? it would see you're a white guy. I never. Like, oh, that's. Uh, well, I never not, just. Not a gangster. I feel like if you're going around wearing like a full red outfit or something, you're just you're, yeah. you just already look bad and you should be shot. But Damn. I don't know how that works. With Sam, you're too much. You're too white and nerdy. No, to I, for that. Okay, no, dude, I heard they would shoot you. They wouldn't perfectly I, undercover going yeah. for a hit. 
I, I heard I heard a story of a. a <laughs> Why would they wear they a gray were going to shoot suit? a goddamn UPS <laughs> guy for wearing brown, which was the he game color. He wants colors. to get that three piece <laughs> blue <laughs> suit, and he's going to walk in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, he's all blue. Suit, suit. Yeah. Uh, and you say a bunch of c words. <laughs> Uh, C word? What, what? Like, what, like, like, no, like, like uh, what is it? Like, bloods won't say Crips? words that's, or one of them they won't, won't say, say fucking ever could ever. Like, the like word, what? What you... I'm oh, having bloods a... won't say anything that starts Crucio. with a C or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They'll yeah. replace like, they it with can't... a B because they're, that is because... like, I don't think that's like an like an everyone does that thing, but some people definitely do that. That is very much like <laughs> I'm in elementary school and me and my friends had a break up in our oh. friend group. And now we won't say any of the words that start with J because oh. Jason's a dickhead on the other. Did you ever make yeah. like bag, yeah. fake language in elementary school and have like, oh. like secret words and stuff? You bust them out in front of people. Not a fake language, but me and my friend William, we were kind of on the nerdy side, and we learned... You speak Elvish? No, we learned, like, this Anglo-Saxon alphabet, and we would write to each other these big-ass letters in Anglo-Saxon. And my it. teacher would, like, confiscate Nerd. her and be like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's got them, like, runes. <laughs> it's like it's runes yeah. all over this page, and we'd be just writing shit to each Some other. Weird I learned how to read water right stuff. Stuff. and write in, in Anglo-Saxon. We gotta get back. Yeah, that's gonna be a useful skill, yeah. dude. <laughs> You're gonna need to know cursive and Anglo-Saxon in our future. Uh, oh man, I definitely I had a pretty pretty petty move where there's like three of us that are. I mean, we have a lot of friends in the group, but like two of us were best friends, and the other two were best friends with each other. You know, it's getting complicated. And one of our one of our be- like genuine best friends just was so annoying in his fifth grade that now it's like his nine eleven if we say like fifth grade because of how bad we just kind of were like dude you need to like change and shit and we were we were just kind of dicks about it and we just were like do you just want to be best friends and like we'll cut him out and we'll just not talk to him or something we just sto- totally stopped like kind of hanging out with him and we made a fake language to say around him and then he got really mad and he tried to make one with another guy it was really sad attempt at like getting back like little kid getting back he's like well i can do one too yeah no it ended very horribly with his mom calling my mom and i had to talk to him on the phone and she was like he's been crying like you need to call him i'm like oh fuck (laughs) And, you know, we made up. It was really awkward, horribly awkward. One of my best uh, friends in the world is who we just got the PC for. Yeah. But, yeah, Ew. he was. Okay, I'm writing this down like his for worst, when I meet yeah. him. Yeah. 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 Hey, fifth, fifth grade. Heard about your darkest grade. moment of your life. Yeah. Let's bring He's that just up. really obnoxious before it. Let's, hey, by the way, you need hey, to learn. Though. Is he obnoxious now, though? Yeah, he's pretty. I mean, you did. It you worked. need to learn Anglo-Saxon I mean, so we can speak it in front of him. Yeah. If you he would fucking start screaming and fucking <laughs> freaking out, dude. Yeah, I have PTSD to fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, dude, yeah, that's con- uh I, I kinda wanna be there for him casually dropping him speaking his new made of language. Oh. If I could have been a fly right. on the wall in that was, scenario. <laughs> well, like, well, okay. Ours it. was also not good, but like we had words that would mean stuff and we'd say them back and forth. And then he I remember, he came over, it stuck with me. And he's like, hey, Jordan, Siamese cats. And he's like, that means like someone that's got two penises or something. And we're like, dude, that doesn't <laughs> even make sense. Like, you, we don't know what you're fucking talking about. And it, it like backfired in his face. Real, really sad, just attempted, you know, I don't know, f- cleverness or something. But poor guy, I love him to death. And uh, I regret fifth grade. It was the worst year of my life, too. <laughs> it was actually my sixth grade. I was older than him. So I was too proud. I'm yeah. you know, not proud of what, what happened that year. Doing that confrontation of like your parents making you apologize for something is the worst goddamn ex- like that's the worst feeling ever. I had to. Yeah. Did you even mean it? Did you no, mean it you it's it? you never mean it. Did you mean it? Me? Yeah. I did feel pretty bad when she said he had been crying. Yeah. I I don't know oh, if I okay. still felt weird and I was a little like. Pfft. I don't need to apologize to this guy. What a baby, yeah, right? Like, but, yeah. I mean, you know, I felt bad. I ended up, it kind of worked. We, we kind of brought him back, you know. We, we stopped being so rude after that. <laughs> so maybe you should just fucking mean your apologies. And- yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, well, what you what you, you do? How bad was it? I I didn't do anything too bad. We well, made no, this kid like really depressed, kind of. Jesus, mine yeah. wasn't as like long term as that. They, it was Sucking like this neighbor's uh, this neighbor's little brother came down to my house and was. I had a rope <laughs> swing. We killed him. The, <laughs> I had a rope swing in my front yeah. yard. Oh, and he was using it, and then he like. <laughs> He pulled his pants down and shit like at the base huh. of the tree in my front yard. Whatever the fuck you do to that kid after that, that point, I think it's fair no, game. No, dude, you make fuck, him like, eat it or something? You... Yeah, what did you do? No, I just made fun of him until he cried and he went home. Oh. I just I you were I, say I something mean, that's demented. fair. He shit on a tree yeah, in your I fucking, like, I ripped on him. How young was he? Uh, if I was your dad, I would have made fun of him Third grade, too. maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Dude, with, I was probably... Probably in like fifth. He was like two years younger. Oh, than me. okay, that's fair. What possessed yeah. him to do that? Uh, anyways, yeah. So he shit on my tree, and um, <laughs> and then he went. He went down to his house, and uh, yeah, I had made fun of. And then it carried on over. I think to the next day, like at school or whatever. Um, oh. and like everybody learned yeah, about it. Yeah, he shits his pants. Yeah. Yep. And basically, well, I mean, that's fair. Basically, my dad walked me down there, and I had to like uh -oh. walk into oh. their house, and I had Stunk to look like shit in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah hey, that little right, shitting but... boys in here, Let's... he reeks of shit. Yeah. I can smell him for him. Bring, him. The, bring the shit kid in. Bring the yeah. shit kid. I smell him. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, tell him what. Yeah. this the one. Yeah, oh, but anyways, so I in front of him. His his mom, his uh, his dad, <laughs> and then his older sister that I had a crush on, I think at the Ooh. time. Ouch! Ooh. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, and there was thought of that. <laughs> I had to apologize to him in front she of was all a total of them. Babe. Oh, it's yeah. What what if what if the fucking what if I like, didn't mean it by the way? I, I, it. it was totally like yeah, fingers well, crossed by different. my back. Yeah, this was an old uh, friend, so it was a little more. It's yeah, like this if is you just started that about dork. one of your friends, then didn't talk to him about it. And, you know, <laughs> and then you started joining in and making fun of him for shitting his pants. Oh, okay. In your that's, secret language. Yeah. And yeah, in your fucking simlish. Dude, that same guy one time was he was running on the playground and a little piece of poop slipped down his pant leg and he just shook it out and kept running. <laughs> he just kept going. He just like shot like wait, a little wait. turd out of his butt. Dude, it is so gross. <laughs> yeah. What did he? Wait, no one was gonna notice. Uh, a couple of people did, but we we kept it on the hush. <laughs> you guys kept, kept, kept it quiet. On the hush. I mean, Dude, we met homies for it, but that's yeah, it's homies. not gonna be like, anything. Shit anything is fucking yeah. down because it's like at that point he's he could almost probably put up a good defense where he's like, "What the fuck? How could I shit that out?" You know? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. Wait, so you see, I, I shit that out and then ran how, around. Who runs my shit? Yeah. You should have got a DNA test yeah. a little poop. And like, prove oh, it. Yeah, yeah prove, prove it's mine. Let, yeah. let me smell your butt right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm really describing this guy in a poor light after being like, I'm sorry, man, but dude, Jesus, I guy mean, literally also has the worst smelling farts. Like medically, <laughs> there has been I mean, there's been inside. multiple people are like, dude, like I'm not joking. You probably should go to a hospital and check out your gut health or something because oh, they just fucking clear a room and it's so grotesque. And I definitely, uh, I should, I, I won't tell the one story on the podcast, actually. I'm sorry for the tease. <laughs> what, you, uh, no, dude, it's not. He, I he shit no, he didn't shit his pants. He just farted like, at a really bad he... time once and just killed, he just killed a, a surprise for people. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, what's going on? How bad could it be? You just it's, said he shit yeah. himself. Well, that, you did that when he was like, like yeah. in fourth grade. The, this this other like, thing was like two weeks ago. Yeah, this was like a couple months ago. Oh, no, he's actually a really cool guy, though. Great guy. Yeah. It was like a funeral and he fucking shit. No. <laughs> was that an open <laughs> casket? No, I just like, I, it's, yeah. Someone was getting a birthday present and he shit, or he, he didn't shit, damn it. And I got me saying it. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a turn out of his pants leg. He yeah. shit and it shot up and his back he, and blew he his kicked hair it. Out. <laughs> he used his shoe to move yeah. the turn to the next yeah. guy, like those yeah. dice from I think you yeah. should leave. Yeah. yeah he he just, just, <laughs> fucking kick him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sleep yeah, the no, shit alone, okay? Yeah. <laughs> he, he farted while, during a right before a gift exchange that everyone else knew was about to happen but him. And they, you, after he did, he's like, "Yeah, you guys might want to move to another room." And they're like, "Dude, Jesus, oh seriously?" God. And we had to relocate. And he's like, "What? Uh, I didn't even realize." Was, yeah. oh, big point of contention. Um, oh my but it was, god. Yeah.
you guys ever shit your pants and <laughs> fart all over the place and stink I've it up? And some risky farts, yeah, but I... I definitely have shit my pants before when I've been really sick. But, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I think everyone does that every once in a while, you know? My dad's definitely shit his pants more than, like, most adult <laughs> men. I think he's got, like, five stories of, like, doing something. Oh, my and God. It's usually shit, when you're sick. Shit his Normally, pants. it's when you're sick. Yeah. I think it's more impressive if you're not sick. You know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I hope I don't get to that point, though, where I'm just... <laughs> you know it does it for me? One go. I've I've had this on two occasions, and I'm scared to do it on a third but tzatziki sauce that comes with oh, uh, like love euros. tzatziki sauce, yeah. yeah all yeah. that dill, I think. Like maybe I'm allergic to dill or something. But I <laughs> eat that shit. You fart brown. Instantly, my asshole is just like producing water. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I, it just gives me like water diarrhea. <laughs> I have like an aversion to, to. You ever eat pickles or anything? Yeah, I love pickles. Dill pickles, <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Maybe you're then but dill be the dill. Uh, well, it's, it's yogurt. Probably, it's probably yogurt or something. Like I love yogurt. I love it's, I eat yogurt all the time. Combination. So yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe the vinegar. What are you putting it on? Wait, on euros. Maybe it's Wait, all the lamb. Oh, yeah. The land it's the lamb. Here it could be. No, no, because no, eating tzatziki sauce and oh, it's the dill. No, because <laughs> I've had like yeah. I've had like um. <laughs> Uh, what did I have where it didn't have tzatziki sauce on it? it? It was just, yeah, it was like a gyro that just had some other bullshit on it. No tzatziki. Ketchup. Like dry gyro? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Like gross. Ketchup, yeah. It had, yeah. Had <laughs> ketchup and mustard. <laughs> oh my God. Grey Poupon spread across the top. Put in a hot dog bun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my God. And you didn't get sick that time. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You, okay. didn't, yeah, no, no. you didn't fart water. How many times has you said this happened twice? Interesting. Yeah, and I'm talking mm. like you should do it three times. Yeah. Then it's a you should, well, you it, it always no, ends up being this, uh, you know, those moments where you're having uh, a bowel distress where you're like, I have to sit down in 40 seconds or I'm going to shit on the floor. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it's an emergency, yeah. and I'm now I'm scared oh, to. <laughs> it feels so good when you finally sit down though. <laughs> if you're in your yeah. home, if you're like it's, in a truck stop, it sucks, but. And you your just house, the bomb. yeah, dude, it is. And you just, like, poof, you just hear that pressure, yeah. And it, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's gonna be a dirty sight when you finally look. But damn, it feels yeah. so good. Uh, it's like I've stabbed a fucking yeah. paint can or something. Then again, <laughs> actually, I I read that like the most foodborne illnesses and stuff, and like uh, food poisoning is from things like shawarma and like euros and stuff because of the way the meat's prepared. God damn, there you go. It's probably not the yeah. tzatziki oh, sauce. Yeah. You probably put some tzatziki on something else. On so you some probably just go to meat. a shitty fucking euro place. Uh, dude, are you I'm telling gonna... me Tallahassee, Florida doesn't have the <laughs> yeah. nicest euro? The most... A big fucking humid ass fucking I, state where they have like a meat, meat like on a tornado. On. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I love yeah. street meat too. Oh, like, like get on a in a city, get some street meat late yeah. at night. And that, I'm surprised I haven't shit my pants more from <laughs> that kind of stuff. I never thought yeah, about that, fuck. but you mentioned it in San Diego street meat, and I'm like, what's so yeah. dangerous about that? And you're like, they're so just risky. out here all day, like it has to go bad. Yeah. Dude, you know? I'm I'm fine with it. When I when I was in New York, my one friend, we were like about to go into a club. He's like, hold on, let me just get some street meat. We're like, dude, like you are, <laughs> no way. He got like it's a green. fucking just meat tray, ate the entire thing whole night. It's like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, God, why you got so much meat in me. Like no shit, dude. Like you lit, you get to see it. Yeah. It's goddamn, it's good though. It hits the spot sometimes. So there's like roasted almonds and shit. They have the roasted mm. nut carts in New York City. Oh, I haven't. I didn't those stop things, any of those. You get been. those like Never big been. ass like big cups full of roasted a nuts. Nut, that yeah, a big oh. nut. Whoa, a big old nuts warm in nuts in the middle of the winter. Uh, oh, that's I love good big shit. warm nuts. What mm. guy do I go to for these? <laughs> Where is he? Some dude across from Hotel Pennsylvania. <laughs> he was there all the time. Some guy sells big nuts. And you gotta get them. He sells a giant nut, and they're warm, and they're so good. <laughs> and they're next to Penn Station, they warm your dude. Belly. That's you. basically yeah. how you described it. Yeah. Some dude. <laughs> he just has so the cheap. fattest nut. Yeah. <laughs> warms your tummy. You can walk around the city. Uh, oh, God bless them. Wait, and this we're, is tzatziki sauce? Or is this, what is, <laughs> yeah, is it the nut or the tzatziki sauce? Why is sauce? tzatziki so hot? What is, yeah. is it going to make my, uh, me poop my pants? We were reminiscing about like our youth, like elementary school and stuff. Did I ever mm -hmm. tell you guys when I got the cops called on me? <laughs> that was oh, an elementary yeah. What did school? you do? Maybe. Me and this kid, Stevie, we... Uh, 
killed your friend's little brother. No, uh, we got uh, we, yeah. we got a hold of the sidewalk chalk. Uh, okay, why the fuck? How'd you? Why would you get the cops called? What did you do? Well, we found we took the sidewalk chalk down to. I was probably in like and then we thir- third grade to a kid or so. Uh, right. No, we went out. We found the special ed classroom. Oh, and, which was part retarded. of this amphitheater, <laughs> dude. Where we had recess, well, uh, and there was these big concrete oh. pillars that you could kind of hide behind. And so, on facing like, fa- like on the side of the pillar and everything in the floor that was facing the special ed classroom, we drew a bunch of like dicks and boobs and shit. <laughs> And but we and we even like we put like arrows pointing to the boobs and we spelled them like B U B S like bubs <laughs> bubs <Ugh>. bubs <laughs> and then uh, and then we did I think we wrote something disparaging towards the people in the the special ed room but it was Dude, like yeah, this is like morally <laughs> reprehensible. Well, they called like the sheriff and they were like, it was these two. And me and Stevie were sitting there like, oh, fuck, man. Fuck. How did they know it was you guys? Because they caught us red handed. We were the kids oh. with sidewalk chalk hiding behind the pillar. They, they told you to write, write out boobs right now. Spell <laughs> it out right now. <laughs> the no, they, 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 just, they just caught us, man. But I also yeah. remember there was a time when I told the story about the, there was this kid that we labeled the mad crapper that was shitting in the urinals. And oh, then yeah. someone said that that was a, like a recreation. Like I just told a Bob's burgers episode and I'm going to tell you wait a hundred percent. Wait, Bob's burgers was around when you were in school. No, no. What I'm saying is, Dude, is that no, I think there's multiple mad crappers. Right. Like I, you're, it's, is it like a thing? Well, I think I think kids shitting in the, urinals in is urinal, like a common thing. Common. Yeah, but like the title, the Mad Crapper. Oh, I don't know. We, like, I think my mom just I, got it from Mad Hatter. Okay. That's just what our family oh, okay. called them. Yeah, but I, I, I would keep her up to date every day. There was a kid that shit in the urinal, Dude, and but, then they would have the usual suspects lined up, and of course, it was me and my other friend Sam. Anyways, no, yeah, no, uh, me and him always got lined up for you know like who the Mad Crapper is. And I, this is all like yeah, in fucking, that Bob's Burgers episode. He gets like I think the 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 boy in the family gets lined up like he's suspected as being the Mad Crapper. I think. You know, you know what's insane? Good. This is why I think it's like a thing. Because I was having deja vu like a month ago. I was at dinner with my mom. I did. She wanted me to go eat with her. I guess our friend. I don't. know. It's my mom's friend. <laughs> Um, and he was telling me about like we went to the same college, and I haven't really talked to him a ton. He does some like insane tech job, making like computers for space and all this stuff. <laughs> and he, you know, he was That's talking cool. about his college, and he was talking about I'm pretty sure a guy with the title the Mad Crapper, who he was talking about a person in their dorm that would shit in weird spots, <laughs> oh. like around. And I just Googled it, and there's a goddamn Urban Dictionary. <laughs> The mad crapper, one who repeatedly craps in strategic locations and will attract attention to the situation. Someone crapping somewhere the other your than a friend toilet. Wrote that, dude. Yeah, That's maybe awesome. your friend wrote that. But I think like I feel like it's just like a very human thing to want to It is a human thing, shit. but the way that the story plays out is so similar to how it happened. Burgers? To the no, show. the way it happened yeah. in Bob's Burgers is so similar to how it happened in my elementary school. I wonder if Maybe it was written by Sam Adams. I wonder if one of the yeah. kids I went to elementary school with ended up being on the writing team of Bob's Burgers. That would be cool to track down. That would yeah. be an easier way to find him and yeah. dox him. Yeah. Narrowed yeah. it down right there. If yeah. there's a Sam Adams writer. Maybe the mad Look crapper for anybody was the guy who did from it. Tallahassee, Florida that currently works at Bob's Burgers, Inc. <laughs> did, they, did they find out who the mad crapper was? Or is that just like a mystery? I, I forget who it was because it was anticlimactic. It was just like, oh, it was you? The fucking He's gross like kid, fucking like it was, it was, yeah. it ended up being the kid you fucking suspected of. Like, it was Mad definitely, crapping. yeah, it was, it, it was almost like, like a red herring. The teachers were like, "Of course it's him," but I'm gonna check off every other box first. Yeah, yeah. I can't just go after the poor kid yeah. that fucking is constantly scratching his asshole like and smells like shit yeah. and does gross things all the time. And so they thought it was me and the other Sam because we were always up to mischief. Um, Mischief. The second stinkiest person, a third stinkiest. Yeah, I'll go to the second yeah. and third stinkiest, give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. No, nope, it's the stinkiest kid. Make that kid sweat yeah. a little. Yeah. Huh, they never mm. suspect me. Mm. 
Yeah. I just imagine this kid has like flies flying around him constantly and shit. Like, oh. Uh, he definitely gave off like uh, Johnny energy from mm. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like, he's very. Mm. He's just a strange kid. Yeah, that's what I imagine too. Like, I just, yeah, I could see Johnny shitting in a yeah. general. Just a, a weird yeah. kid. He's not, he's not about keeping up with social norms, you know? He's about breaking them. There's no writing credit for Samuel Adams, but Every I bet he's school has a kid that shits in the urinal. He might have changed his name like. for, for, uh, you know, for, for a celebrity Mad crapper yeah after him. yeah uh yeah i don't know if that'd be a good celebrity writing name samuel adams kind of i mean he's like a famous writer no if, you, that, if you're getting into hollywood and your name's already been like taken george washington yeah if your name's george washington and you expect to be a famous actor probably not going to happen for you i feel like that might have been long enough i feel like it'd be harder if your name why, was like Barack uh, obama <laughs> I feel like more historical back then. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Did you say Barack Obama or Brock? I said Barack Obama. That would, that would, that would be a cool Brock. like white version name of that. Brock, Brock Obama. Obama. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is my middle name. <laughs> did you just get <laughs> that far? Well, yeah. Yeah. Me? Did, yeah. Did you see your big? Uh, no. Fucking chain reaction of farts. <laughs> that, was, that was you. That was you shitting your pants. Rip a fart. I might have. Uh, oh wait. No. It was, <laughs> no it was wait. Pip, oh no. Pip's chewing on like the rubber toy thing. He's just like. <laughs> oh. If oh. I farted, it probably wouldn't have sounded that loud. I wish. What? I think it was Brian. Oh, that was Brian. Oh. I think it was Pip. Not farting, but chewing. Uh, I'm tired. Can I go to bed? Uh, my yeah, my neck and back hurts so bad. For, <laughs> yeah. Um. It's